in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you're welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Bless the name of the Lord. Spirit, break out. Break our walls down. Lift your voice and bless His name. Everywhere, lift your hands and let's worship the King of Kings. Jesus, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Bless him for tonight. And say, Holy Spirit, break every wall. Every wall of limitation. Break every wall down. In the name of Jesus, break every wall down. Are you praying from the depth of your heart? Break every wall down. Break every limitation in my life down in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Break every wall down in the name of Jesus. Outside, are you praying? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, we are gathered before you tonight. We are here because we believe in you. We are here because we trust you. We are here because we want to know you. We are here because you are our helper. This is the place of strength. This is the place of wisdom. This is the place of power. This is the place of miracles. This is the place of encounters. This is a place of transformation. So Lord, we thank you. For you are bigger than what we say. You are better than what we say. You are bigger than what we say. You are bigger than what we say. Hallelujah. Bless our hearts tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Walk to 10 people, greet them, tell them it's good to see you. And then back to your seat. There is a sweet anointing in There is a still in the atmosphere Oh, come lay down the burdens you have cast 
glory for in the sanctuary God is here. That's already a prophetic word for someone tonight. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried. For in the sanctuary, God is here. For in the sanctuary, God is here. For in the sanctuary, God is here. God, you are here and we thank you change our lives tonight in the name of Jesus good evening everybody um, I have a very serious word for us tonight it's, it's actually an explanation where to start a new series but the spirit of God would not let me start a new series there is a key that i taught in this place that the lord wants me to teach it again because we need to understand it again and again the holy spirit kept pressing on my spirit that we ought to understand some mysteries must be taught again and again and again until our spirits pick them are we together the end of revelation is that we apply these truths and they produce results in our lives and so i'm going to be challenging us on that thought and then we will pray one of the greatest prayers you can pray as a believer is that the eyes of your understanding truly be enlightened are we together the eyes of your understanding is not intelligence the eyes of your understanding is not intellect. The eyes of your understanding is not philosophical knowledge. The eyes of your understanding is access to the mysteries of the spirit alongside their operation. You can know that these mysteries exist. You see, revelation is not knowing what God has said. Revelation is knowing how to make it work in your life. Knowing what God has said is not revelation. When you know how to make it work in your life, he told Job, Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven, and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth? Amen. It's important that when we come into God's presence, we listen. You will think that when people come into God's presence like this, the fact that you are looking at me, it doesn't mean you are listening. Are we together? People can be distracted. People can be careless. Some can be looking with their eyes open, but they are sleeping. Are we together? All kinds of things happen. It was Jesus himself that told us what happened to seeds. Some fall by the wayside. Correct seed, correct sower. Some fall by the wayside. Some fall in the midst of thorns. Some fall on a rocky ground. Even among the good soils, three kinds of results. 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold. May you be 100-fold tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. A day will come in your life where you would have sufficiently gained access to the mysteries of the kingdom alongside the keys that release their power. And let me tell you, when that time comes, you will be nothing short of a wonder. Everybody around you will know that the finger of God is upon your life. We make impact in this world through mysteries. We make impact in this world not through desire, 
It takes more than desire to make true impact for the kingdom. I'll share a thought with us and then we'll walk on a scripture and then we'll pray. Hallelujah. I shared with us here, for those of us who were not here, please listen attentively. And by the way, those following us online, we love you, we honor you, you are part of us. That there are three platforms upon which impact is established. Please listen. When God is ready to reveal himself to a man, when God is ready to do business with a man upon the earth, there are only three platforms as revealed from scripture upon which that man will access capacity to make impact. Platform number one, encounters. Don't forget this. They are not cheap. They are not basic at all. Encounters. The first platform that grants a man access to walk with God is encounter. Everybody say encounter. Encounters are very, very important because they birth spiritual realities in our spirits. By encounters, I don't just mean visionary encounters. Even encounters through the word. An experience that makes God real to you. An experience that makes a dimension of God real to you. It could be aided through a vision. It could be aided through a supernatural experience. But regardless of what platform it comes through. Any experience capable of making a dimension of God become real to you. Is called an encounter. True encounters produce conviction. Not memory. Conviction. A true encounter Listen, it doesn't just leave you with a memory. It produces conviction. If you tell me you've had an encounter with a dimension of God, I will know. I don't care whether you claim you had a vision or a scripture opened up to you. When it is opened up to you, the first time that you had an encounter is unusual conviction. It translates to faith. If God gives you an encounter of his healing power, it produces conviction. If God gives you an encounter of a dimension of spiritual reality, it must come with conviction. Say conviction. There are so many people in the body of Christ who are not convicted about the things they teach. It's one thing to teach from a theological standpoint, and that's important. It's one thing to teach from a sociological standpoint, but it's one thing to teach from a depth of conviction. It's not by shouting. It's not the volume of your voice. It's not the, the repetition of your grammar. Conviction is a realm where you're speaking, your listeners know that the things you are saying are true with you. Say encounters. We must crave for encounters. You know, people who don't really understand this thing think that all we are advocating is that people begin to have out-of-body experiences. And they begin to propose as though you are telling people to not pay attention to the word of God. To now begin to contend for angelic encounters, heavenly encounters as above the word of God. No. The Bible says God appeared um, to Samuel in Shiloh by his word. Are we together? He appeared by his word. So an encounter doesn't necessarily mean until you see an angel and he says, promise, I was sent from heaven to you that from today you take the healing power of God to the nations. And then every time you stand, you say, I remember what the angel said. Yes, that's an encounter. But there are men like Reinhard Bonke who had encounters. They never had any visionary experience. When you listen to Reinhard Bonke's story, he will tell you that a day came they brought in a great man of god to preach the man preached the first day and told all the sick people to come by the second day and the morning of the second day reinhard bonke was excited because they were going to wheel all kinds of sick people in africa if you tell people to bring the sick they are obedient they will bring the sick whether they are related to them or not they will that sense of nationhood will kick in they will drag every sick person and so they brought those people and the preacher told Reinhard Bonke, he said, the Lord told me to pack up my things 
and get out of this place. You will preach and you will heal. Renard Bonker said, no, 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 no. You can't be playing. I mean, you are the great man of God. I'm only here to encourage you. And he said, I'm sorry, I have to be on my way. Renard Bonker said he cried and cried because his ministry was about to be shredded into pieces. And then all of a sudden, that's an encounter. The word of the Lord comes. You don't read it, it comes. In the fifth day of the fifth month of this, the word of the Lord came. There's the one you try to get, but the one that comes is what produces encounter. And Renard Bonke just looked and said, Lord, I will go and do the preaching and you will do the healing. And that was it. A man who has produced a ministry that has liberated Africa. Encounters. You can be reading a scripture. You can be reading John 3.16. But one day the word of the Lord will come to you. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him when that encounter comes you can sing songs like yes Jesus loves me you sang it in Sunday school it was not an encounter it was a recitation but when it comes as an encounter you will sing that song and you are crying and somebody looks at you and says ah, ah, you are deeper than this and he said that's the point it has not come to you but it came to me are we together encounters my life is a testimony of encounters I can point to you exact periods in my life where certain things happen that birthed certain convictions that have been responsible for releasing certain dimensions of spiritual possibilities may God give us encounters the meeting is called koinonia and the first thing you should get is an encounter if you are a prayer leader without an encounter a pastor without an encounter an apostle a prophet whatever you call yourself a time will come your lack of assurance will become evident to those you are leading are we together it's not by bold face bold face is not encounter i know god will show up please encounters produce convictions unto death but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded say god give me encounters say it again god give me encounters you believe god has called you into the ministry of kingdom wealth but you are not sure you don't have encounters so you are hoping you will be rich to prove to people that you were called into the ministry of kingdom financing you lack encounters listen an encounter makes your conviction as your primary evidence not physical results your conviction becomes your primary evidence so god can call you to the nations as at the time you are speaking the only other listener is your wife but you still say god called me to the nations i love men of convictions conviction conviction we we live in a result driven a carnal result driven generation where until you produce physical results that can be seen people oftentimes will not believe you so you will need encounters let me tell you so that when things do not happen the way you want you are still left with your encounter job said though he slay me Yet will I trust him. I know him. The God in the mountain is still God in the valley. Let me tell you why many people gas out. Many pastors, many preachers. I've seen a lot of preachers say, God sent me to so-so-so city. When the city became too hot and whipped them, they left quietly. Encounters give you stamina. Encounters give you stamina encounters give you stamina he said if you turn aside in the day of battle he said your strength is small one guy came and met me one time and he said god has called him into the apostolic ministry i said congratulations a few months later it became too hot for him and he came back he said i get it now i'm an evangelist i said go. i told him i said go for a retreat a retreat that produces an encounter 
because he thought it's just in a name. Usually when it becomes too hot, people change. Persecution. <laughs> we think the name will give you access for preaching fast. So you say, I am prophet A and B and C. And then the heavy controversy that lands on your head, you quietly remove it and say, I am Pastor Joshua Selman. <laughs> say encounters. May God give us encounters. One big secret in my life is that God used encounters to convince me of my call. Solid encounters. Both visionary encounters, word encounters, prophetic encounters that's why no matter what anybody says or does i will never even pray about it that's how certain i am when you try to explain things to people you don't have conviction enough please talk to someone by your side and say get conviction get conviction strong conviction are we together strong conviction we doubt and we fall by the wayside and we make a mess of and you know it's a terrible thing to brag so much before people and then you are now forced to defend your advocacy but the encounter that will sponsor your confidence is not there if i believe god has called me to carry the healing anointing and there are hundred wheelchairs and i pray for them and nobody gets healed I tell them, may God bless you and uh, have a nice day. And I'll go to sleep. And someone says, but man of God, ah, it's either you are backsliding or something has happened. I will go back and challenge myself to rise greater. But I will not go back saying, God, if it's that I didn't hear you well, can you explain to me again? No. We're laughing, but I'm, I'm trusting that God is speaking to us. Encounters. Do you know that the world follows men of conviction? If I am a thief today, there is a, there is a certainty about my stealing that will force you to say, look, this guy knows what he's doing. He's worth hearing. Terrorists are men of encounter and conviction. They have met spirits. The spirits told them certain things. So while the government is trying to advise them and say, why don't you become nice social beings? They say, all of you are confused and we are out to kill you and bomb you. And you say, are you sure you'll do this? Yes. What of your life? What of your wife and your family? And they say, to hell with them. Conviction from an encounter. What encounter do you have that sponsors your confidence? Oh, I saw God give a Jimmy this. It's not enough reason. You must have a personal encounter we lack this a lot i'm taking out time to help you understand this we lack this a lot in the body of christ you can borrow joshua selman's revelation listen to one koinonia message and just write everything out and preach in a conference and say god said there is this and that and that but you know there is a way people look through you and they see that even you as you are preaching, you are just saying, Lord, I hope I'm right. I'm about to pray. Joshua Selman prayed after that message. And now I'm about to pray after my own. Then you stand and speak and say, I see angels everywhere. Whether or not you are seeing them. Because you thought I was lying. So now you say, I see angels. Overflow, are you ready? Say yes. No encounter. That's how preachers disgrace themselves convention after convention till everybody in your circle stops bringing you for meetings because you have a track record of copying with no results someone can guide you but the ultimate journey is that you meet christ you meet him not just theologically but you have an encounter say amen, amen. it's good to know the god of joshua selman but stay until that God becomes your God. The people told the woman, the, the Samaritan woman, he said, we believe you now, not just because you told us. We have seen him for ourselves. You came and introduced us, but ah, talking with him, he did something to us. 
in the name of Jesus may God give us encounters over your business over your life over your family so that when you go and you look at your CGPA and you look at it from 4.5 God forbid but you drop to 3.5 and you see three carryovers you don't suddenly say ah and God said I'll be a leader God you must come and you see some prayers are are revelations of the doubts you've been nursing for many years so what you have feared secretly now comes upon you and you say god but you told me now you told me eh? you told me that this brother will marry me this one that he has done introduction what are you saying don't make noise until you have the burning bush experience we brag too much on hearsay I watch preachers talk sometimes and I'm saying, be careful, oh, Jesus is Lord, but his Lordship is exercised with wisdom and understanding. If you are not healed in this meeting, except I'm not called. Hey. At the end of the meeting, only two people are healed. Encounters. Encounters. I pray for them. I create the atmosphere for them. I desire them in my life. Encounters. It's not about reading the Bible, Genesis to Revelation. It's not about quoting scripture, as important as it is. It's not about a display of Greek and Hebrew words. Encounters produce convictions. Convictions produce faith. Faith moves mountains. It's not what you do. It's the conviction behind what you do. Number two, the second platform upon which men do business with God is a comprehension or access to the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom. Revelation of the mysteries of the kingdom. An encounter is one. You meet a person in an encounter but you must comprehend the principles of the kingdom is God helping us tonight your knowledge of the principles the working knowledge of the principles of the word of God is another platform for you to activate a life and a destiny of impact so what principles do you know it says and I will give you the keys right and whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven king james says whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven amplified says whatever you allow whatever you disallow the power to release realities and the power to close doors is called the key of david your life there is a dimension of impact in your life hear me brothers and sisters that is a product of the mysteries that you know this is what i define as dominion you've heard me say it again and again dominion is not an impartation dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom we've spent this year as much as many other years dissecting these mysteries under the teaching secrets of the kingdom the series get it secrets of the kingdom right i taught you six mysteries that control mighty dramatic manifestations upon the earth mystery number one i taught you is the law of surrender the law of surrender that this is the mystery that holds the key to unusual amounts of unction upon the lives of people complete surrender complete surrender Mystery number two is the power of a transformed mind. For as he thinketh in his heart, right? So, he's, so he is. I told you realities are first formed in the realm of the spirit before they find expression in the physical realm. So you never try to change anything by physically trying to alter it. You alter it from the realm of the spirit and it changes. Mystery number three is the law of competence. Seest thou a man diligent in his business? He says, he shall not stand before mean men. He shall stand before kings. Are we together? We, we did this very, very 
mystery number four i explained to you the secret of coming out of situations that are about to swallow you in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path that's what the bible says he said trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding a time must come in a man's life where you face challenges that are bigger than your current level of exposure you don't know anything about that challenge nor how to go out at that time the key is to acknowledge him he says in all thy ways acknowledge him praise is a weapon for acknowledgement so as you begin to acknowledge him there is a promise attached he said he will make straight your path mystery number five is the mystery i call it the irrefutable mystery of destiny helpers men and women anointed commanded instructed to appear in your destiny and take you to the next level i'm doing a recap it, it, please I, I don't know how to plead with you believe what i'm teaching you and understand it and you will change your life there are three kinds of destiny helpers i shared with us the other time number one they are called divine connectors they do not have the ability to help you but they can link you to where your help is divine connectors number two men of influence they have the capacity both the economic power both the governmental power right the intellectual prowess to endorse you and open up doors for you an example of such a person is joseph of arimathea a man who through his influence jesus was ordered to come down from the cross and buried in a tomb you need them and then number three faithful men the third kind of destiny helpers faithful men 400 of these men came to david david was running he was a failure he was broke he was on his way ministry had packed up but 400 men came and they entered a covenant with themselves to be loyal to him until he became king and then the last mystery which in my opinion is the most powerful maybe secondary to only an encounter is the law of honor hebrews 7 7 and without all contradiction the less is blessed of the greater i told you that there is a system in the body of christ nobody blesses himself you cannot lift yourself to a new dimension are we together no matter how anointed you are no matter how great you are at every point in your life there are people below you trusting god for your grace to lift them there are people above you there are those who already represent what your future aspirations are and there are people who you represent their future aspiration the recognition of that is the key to living where you are to the next level you ignore the law of honor you will pay for it dearly you ignore the law of honor you will pay for it dearly there are human beings that represent systems the recognition of what they represent alongside the possibilities god has opened unto them will bring you into their realm of reality honor is the key to access every time a door closes over your life this honor closed it and every time a door opens over you honor opened it so there are many other mysteries that we have to learn i can teach you mystery upon mystery upon mystery one of it is he that wants friends must first show himself friendly now you read these things as verses until god opens your eyes then you'll see the reason why many people never have the gift of men because they are not friendly to be friendly does not mean to be a clown to be friendly means to be hospitable are we together it says that you neglect not being hospitable for in it many have entertained angels unaware it was through hospitality sarah trapped the angels and they gave a revelation about the inevitable doom of sodom and gomorrah and it was on the strength of that hospitality that abraham was given access to that mystery and with it he rescued lot praise the lord 
The third platform upon which men receive from God and create lives of notable impact in the earth is covenant connection. Covenant connection. Covenant connection. May God make us believe what I'm sharing. May God make us believe it. May God make us believe it in the name of Jesus Christ. Covenant connection. The Bible speaking about men and describing the nature and the character of their success says, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the, sin, the seat of the scornful. He says, but his delight, what? Is in the law of the Lord. And on that law he meditates day and night. Then he says, he shall be. This is how his success will be in the similitude of that of a tree. If the Bible says you shall be like something, study that thing. It says the success of a believer will be like that of a tree. How does a tree rise? Number one, it is planted. From the stem that rises, branches begin to come. All branches do not move in the same direction. But regardless of their direction, the strength of the branches are determined by the strength of the vine that they are connected to. They may face different directions and the trees can grow so tall, taller than buildings. And the trees can stand for years and decades. Branches fall and rise. They are pruned and they come again. But the stem connected to the root remains intact. Any branch that cuts itself outside of the vine dies. You don't water the branches. You water the roots. And it has a system. Are we together? Trying to pour water on leaves is a waste of time. A system. So he said he shall be like a tree. Listen. Our personal spiritual growth is based on relationship. But kingdom advancement is based on covenant. Please you have to understand this. Our personal work with God is based on relationship. However kingdom advancement is based on covenant. Not the covenant of Moses. Not the covenant of the New Testament. I'm not talking old and new covenant. A covenant is a system through which God guarantees a continuity of his program. Now listen, listen, look up please. Let me teach you this. Get it, get it in the name of Jesus Christ. The way the kingdom works is through the principle of covenant and alignment. Please listen. So what happens is that every dispensation has a dimension of spiritual realities that they should experience which is part of the ongoing unfolding of the multifaceted dimension of God are we together so every dispensation has a dimension of God a mark for them to experience but the nature and the character of that revelation is such that when God wants to come in in a dimension to a territory and a dispensation his first assignment is to find a man say a man when he finds a man he enters a personal covenant with that man that personal covenant becomes the platform upon which that dimension of god is revealed to the dispensation no other person will access that dimension in that dispensation out of alignment to the person in covenant with god are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. God will not reveal the same thing to everybody. He will reveal the same thing to one person and direct every other person who wants to experience that part of him to align with the covenant that he has had upon that man or upon that system. Are we together? The yardstick that he uses to bring men to that experience is called an election of grace. It has nothing to do necessarily with their personal yieldedness. It is part of his sovereignty and his predeterminate counsel. So God calls men. 
every time you are talking about redemption the journey of redemption and the doctrine of christ starts from abraham not noah not adam are we together whether it's christianity whatever kind of religion the moment they are communicating the doctrine of christ the genesis of the blueprint of the doctrine of christ starts from abraham god called one man to come out of a place called all of the chaldeans genesis chapter 12 right he wanted to use his father terror but something happened and he the, the, you know the baton passed on to abraham and he called abraham an idol worshiper out of all of the chaldeans and he called him and he said look i am calling you out come out of your father's house your kindred and all of that and i will do certain things with you and abraham obeyed him there are so many people in the bible that represents god's covenant point there are portals that open their dispensation and their generations to certain dimensions of God. That law did not die with the coming and the going of Jesus Christ. There are still men today that represents new dimensions of God or continuity of his program. Hmm. Are we together? Alongside your encounter, alongside your comprehension of the laws of the spirit, your covenant connection to men or systems that represent the continuity of God in that dimension. But this is where Satan cheats a lot of people. Please listen to me carefully. This is something else I'm talking about, but we need to understand this. God asked me to reiterate these things. You know why we honor men? We honor men for many reasons. Number one is the anointing they carry. Number two, the sacrifice that they have with God that has brought certain levels of possibilities in their life. Number three is the spiritual system that they represent. When David wanted permission to fight Goliath, do you know the question Saul asked? He said, whose son is this? In other words, I want to know the tribe he came from so that I know whether this can be possible. This boy is too young. I'm a king. But I need to know where he's coming from. So we can trace the history of the spiritual deposits God left with that tribe. And when they found out that David was of the Benjamite, he said, go and fight. David came to him and he said, Goliath, I know you think I'm a small boy. But there is a tribe standing before you, not a person. Watch what happens to you now. Goliath said, am I a dog? David said, we will we'll see who, who is the dog. I have seen people in my life who never become billionaires, but they never lack, whether they pray or not. Even when they are not tithing, it's a covenant. There is something they are connected to, whether they know it or not, that affords them those spiritual possibilities. <sighs> Open our eyes, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I have seen pastors who when they stand to teach you will almost sleep but when they call upon the god of heaven he shows up it's not personal encounter in fact many of them may have a lot of character defaults and while you are talking about their character it's like god owes them his presence they call him and he must show up there is a covenant he respects he says my covenant will i not break nor alter the thing that is gone forth from my mouth are we together so some of our people although they were in the village with witchcraft they had 16 children one woman 16 children and yet after 16 children the woman is still standing her stomach is still as flat as an arrow you wonder whether the children grew in a basket it's a covenant brothers and sisters it's not about knowing what drug to take some things are spiritual when they are spiritual they show and you see it Do you believe what I'm teaching you? Hmm. Oh, you better believe it. So that when you look at a man, you know that not every result you see was initiated by his personal altar. When you know that, there will be no room for pride when God begins to give you results. Because you will know that certain dimensions of your result are purely an issue of alignment. Purely an issue of what? Alignment. Spiritual alignment. There was a time, for instance, in living faith, 
it still happens where there were strange testimonies 2005 2006 creative those ones were is what the bible calls the walking of miracles not testimonies where a man would tell you i was a cleaner and by sunday the owner of the company said he's leaving nigeria and they made me a ceo strange testimonies so you see somebody who drag himself and he's sleeping while they are preaching sleeping they say in jesus name he never says amen he's even angry but something still came on him with the anger he turns and he leaves and goes back and the landlord says you are staying five years in this house the rent is is free and the man says i don't understand what is happening to me two weeks later they call him and say there is a job we want to give you and he says i don't understand there is a covenant when god looks at you he sees the covenant there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus to break every chain break every chain hallelujah if you know this thing i'm teaching you you can you can make it's not a license to sin you can make the worst blunder on earth quarter to shame the covenant kicks in and god says i remember <sighs> jonah jonah was running as a rebel but god used what happened to describe what will happen to jesus jonah he says the same way jonah was in the belly of the fish was that a good testimony yet jesus used it god had solomon for the sake of his father david when solomon dedicated the temple he lifted the temple and he said lord i enter a covenant with you that whoever faces this temple and pray whether their faith level is there or not hearken to them so in the days of daniel they signed a policy and they said nobody should pray daniel knew that if he will use his personal faith he's a human being the truth about it is that it was not just his personal spiritual life so he opened the window to jerusalem and he started praying and listen that was why he was sure when they were about to throw him in the lion's den god did not show up because of daniel he showed up because of the covenant what have you enjoyed in your life because of covenant connection some of us every good thing that has happened to you has come because of your your personal push which is good but brothers and sisters the demand that life will place on you will be greater than your spiritual life and if you have to wait till you become strong you may not even live for that to happen there are people in koinonia here they are not tightening, but they are having strange results they even them they are doubting they are saying what's wrong something is covering you it's a covenant break every chain break every chain those who know this do business with god upon the earth and open strange doors strange doors strange doors living faith redeemed and mfm there are three ministries that have seen them with such a strange covenant of of ownership they can enter any land regardless of the vow the government made not to give them land they must give them land as much as they want it's a revelation are we together brothers and sisters some things are not just about fasting and prayer there is an advantage god placed in the body and if you are not aware of it you may never step into certain dimensions never step into certain dimensions I came to show you certain things god said i should teach it again if god says i should teach it it means many of us did not get it there are certain things in my life i will i will never suffer and struggle over i'm, I'm not i'm not that foolish i am not that foolish you see it's a painful thing when you are suffering certain things that is available by covenant to the tribe you belong to 
Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Elijah was a man who had a covenant with God that represented the system of the prophetic and the apostolic. He had other sons called the sons of the prophet. Is that true? But he had a strange man who was a farmer called Elisha. Elisha was not a prophet. Elisha was a farmer. He casted his mantle upon him and Elisha started following him. Join other prophets. Listen. And then the Bible says a time came when Elijah, Elijah it was about to go to heaven. Is that a normal human being? Is that how you go to heaven? But that's how he went to heaven. That's how you know that it's not a normal human being. He knew where the gate of heaven was beyond the Jordan. He said, I'm about to leave. He knew where to wait for the chariots. Ah. A man was taking fresh air on a mountain and they came to harass him. He used one of the elements of the supernatural called fire. He said, I will not just use my mouth. If I be a man of God, let fire come from heaven. He prayed once and fire came. Is that how you pray when you stand? Look at what he, he, hi. Koinonia, hear what I'm teaching you. Listen. When they were about to judge the prophets of Baal, there are some dimensions of witchcraft that is your covenant of connection that dislodges them. Not just your personal prayer and fasting. When the prophets of Baal were there, they were prophets under the custody of Jezebel. And look at the mockery. Elijah said, laugh. He said, he said, cut yourself, shout. Maybe your God is sleeping. Look, if I am Elijah, I will be fasting. <laughs> Deliver me, O oh God. Wipe my tears. For the sake of your glory. I will be writing out the worship songs. Looking for somebody to play a cymbal. But here was a man crossing his leg. And mocking at them. From morning till evening he laughed. Because he knew they were wasting their time. After everything. They caught themselves. So that their God will see blood. And remember their covenant with him. When they tried singing and praising and it did not work. They danced around the prophets of Baal. They started bringing blood. What is blood? The covenant. Baal, remember our covenant as prophets with you. And Elijah shut the heavens and said, keep calling on him. Then when it was time for Elijah, I thought Elijah would have just said, all right, God, fire, come down. He would have been surprised. He said, give me 12 stones. 12 stones listen listen let me teach you something the bible says in the new jerusalem it said the gates of the city there were 12 gates and the gates had a name of the 12 tribes of israel every one of those tribes represented a dimension of god and 12 foundations having the name of the apostles he said give me 12 stones and the prophets of Baal were watching after it he put a sacrifice and then he said pour water the water was a mystery. He was not just trying to say so that you don't think I hit fire. Because there are three forces that open the gates in this earth realm. The spirit, the water, and the blood. So he said, pour water. Afterwards, he lifted his eyes to the heaven. The pattern was correct. Follow me. And he said, oh God. And the fire, the Bible said the fire came, licked the sacrifice, and swept everything right and then hear what he said the moment that happened he said pursue all the prophets of Baal don't let one escape and kill them hear me people of God there are dimensions there are kinds of mountains that were never designed to be approached alone we fool ourselves thinking because we know God every mountain will just go like that he said, all things are possible, but they are, they are possible based on the knowledge available to you. If you can see me as I'm going, you will have something. The moment he left and he held the mantle, he would have gone to the well and said, I am a man of God. Pat, he would have been surprised. He said, where is the Lord God? As far as God was concerned, he did not see Elisha. He saw the covenant. Did the water obey? Absolutely. Do you know why Joshua was successful? 
God transferred a mystery to him. As I was with Moses, as I was, the way I related with him, so I will relate with you. He said, and because of that, no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. So when the angel appeared, Joshua removed his knife and he was going to kill the angel. The angel had to explain he would have died. The word of God would have killed the angel, not the sword of Joshua. He said, are you for us or against us? And the angel said, hold on, neither. He had to explain because a man was running with the word of God. The Bible says, for instance, it says where two or three are gathered, where? In my name. The meaning is as touching my authority. There is a dimension of God that only shows up under corporate fellowship. You will never have that dimension alone in your room. Fast for 100 days. You will not see those things. That was why the psalmist was crying. He said, early will I seek you. He said, to see your power and your glory in my life as I have seen in the sanctuary. There's something I've seen that only happens when believers gather. I've not seen it. Can you make it happen in my life? Hallelujah. He says, if two of you shall agree, hold my hands, Jimmy, as touching anything, there are certain levels of prayer that is not just about, I am alone, the veil has been torn, I, I'm, I'm alone, I can access Christ. It's a system. There are certain levels of difficulty that when two or three agree, you can just say one prayer. That was why the apostles, when they were threatening them, did they pray individually? Acts chapter 4. Remember they came together because they understood this. It took that kind of grace to bring the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. They could not pray alone and have the Holy Spirit come. So when the Bible says Acts chapter 2 verse 1. Now when the day of Pentecost was fully come. It said they were all gathered in one accord. That formation gave the Holy Spirit room to come. In Acts chapter 4 when they threatened them. They came together and said, Lord, behold their threatenings. He says, stretch forth your right hand now to heal. And that signs and wonders be wrought through your holy child. And the building shook. There is a difference between your personal prayer life and the body of Christ. The body of Christ is a mystery of possibilities. When you understand the mysteries that govern the body of Christ, you will do things that you will never imagine you would have done. Are we together? I remember when a few people wrote jam here. You were, you were testaments of the things. Marks being added. I'm not talking of those 40, 40 marks. You see people, someone will check his jam, 197. Go and check again, 231. How did that happen? Look, let me tell you something. When you see a man of God, study the systems around his life. Don't just say this person is anointed. Ah, he has power. What makes the heaven owe him? It's like, it's like God, God owes certain men of God a debt he must pay. Even if they call his name joking, he has to show up. There is something that makes that happen. My altar is calling you. Oh God. My altar is calling you oh god our covenant is calling you oh god take my praise oh god take my praise oh god sing it one more time my altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. It's calling you, oh God. Take my praise, oh God. Take my praise. Listen. Let me tell you something powerful. 
Numbers 24. Let me do my teaching now. Mike. Numbers 24. Let me share something with you that will break some gates open. I want your spirit to be sensitive. Something will happen in this place today. Numbers 24. Mm. Mambro setarakota shalabrati kaparata. Balaam was called by Balak to curse the nation of Israel. I've shared it here. The Lord asked me to repeat it, so I'm repeating it. Now listen. And when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, it's actually 23, 24. I'm jumping for time's sake. Follow the story. He went not as in other times to seek for enchantment. Now, there's a lot to say about Balaam. The Bible talks about the doctrine of Balaam, the error of Balaam, the way of Balaam. There is a long story on that. I don't want to go into that. But he set his face towards the wilderness. Let's rush it. Go ahead. And Balaam lifted his eyes. Balaam wanted to find out where... Listen, listen. Let me explain the whole scene for you. A prophet is brought by Balak. And he said, cause koinonia. Make things to start going wrong for people. Are we together? Now, Balaam tells them, look, oh, I am a prophet. In other words, I don't speak the way I want. So as we stand here, whatever you hear me say, is what God is saying. Agreed? They said agreed. So they brought gifts. Balaam would have sought God by lifting his face to the hills. That's the key. Sammy said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. They know where their help comes from. But now Balaam used enchantment so that God would not be able to prophesy through him. Are you getting the story? He used divination to invoke spirits so that they would prophesy. So Balaam stood and after he used those enchantments, he was about to curse and his mouth produced blessings. And he was surprised. He moved to another place again and used invocations about to speak and he blessed them. He went to another place about to speak and he blessed them. And Balaam said, ah. Balak was angry. And he said, what is all this? I brought you to curse them. All that has been coming out of your mouth is blessings. Please watch this. And Balaam lifted his eyes to check. They were on a mountain. And he said, no, I'm a prophet. Let me look. What is the reason why no cause is working? And this is what he saw. Hallelujah. And he saw Israel abiding in what? His tents. There was a spiritual formation from the valley. Israel were wise people. They didn't just say, let's rest. They said, ah, it is possible that the kings will come and destroy us. So let us engage the formation. There is a pattern. Mm. They arranged themselves according to their tribes with the ark of God being at the center. And they said, let's see who will curse us. They kept the ark there. So when Balaam stood at the mountain to curse, the ark fought him back. And he said, I don't know what is wrong. I can't curse them. I can't curse them. Then listen to what he said. According to their tribes, and finally the spirit of God came upon him this is what he said the secret and he took a parable that's how prophets remember Hosea chapter 12 I have spoken in similitudes or parables I have multiplied visions he took a parable and he said Balaam the son of Beor had said speaking about himself and the man whose eyes are open talking about himself had said verse 4 and he had said which heard the words of God which saw the visions of the almighty falling into a trance but having his eyes open verse 5 how goodly are thy tents O Jacob and thy tabernacles O Israel that's the secret I look at your tent and your spiritual formation and I see you arranged in a way that no cause no enchantment that's why he said no divination no enchantment against jacob it's not just because they are christians please listen to what i'm teaching you now there was a spiritual pattern and literally balaam as a true prophet could not cause them they didn't fight they just could not cause them when it was 10 in in second chronicles 20 verse 20 Oh well, we we'll read from verse 15 downwards if there's time. They were about to fight. Three kings came together. 
to fight them. And the Bible said they had another formation. Kai. These guys use formations for victory, not stories. They inquired of the Lord what pattern will produce the result. And they said, Let the worshippers be in front. And when the worshippers were in front together with the ark, the warriors were behind. He said, This is not an issue of sword. And they began to sing. Hearken all Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem and thou king Jehoshaphat thus saith the Lord be not afraid or dismayed by reason of this great multitude for the battle is not yours but the Lord's let's read down quickly tomorrow go up against them and so on and so forth 17 listen he said ye shall not what set yourselves and stand still and see the salvation of the Lord O Judah and Jerusalem fear not or be dismayed Tomorrow you go up against them. Verse. And Joseph had bowed his head. This and that and that. Verse 19. There's something I'm looking for. Now listen. And the Levites. And the children of the Kohathites. And of the children of all of those people. Stood up to what? Praise the Lord of the Lord God of Israel. With a loud voice on high. Right? And then of course. They rose early in the morning. And then when they began to praise. You know. A prophecy came. Next verse. He says, and when he had consulted the people, he appointed what? Look at the formation. Who did he appoint? Do you use musicians to fight war? Musicians to fight war. Three kings about to kill you. I hope you know they were not acting. It was real death. But there was a pattern. He says, and they should praise the beauty of his holiness. And as they went out before the army. And to say, praise the Lord. For his mercy endured forever. What happened? And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushment against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah and were smitten. Next verse. For the children of this stood up to slay themselves. Read the last sentence. If you are a Christian, want to read. Everyone helped to destroy military people killing themselves there were two left and he said who dies first say you he now killed the other person and killed himself while they were doing that other people were there invoking a pattern listen there's something i teach the school of ministry students called the reflection principle listen i want to teach you something very powerful it's a principle that is used in occultism it's a principle that is used it was an an aberration of god's principle listen you only host a spirit and a dimension of the possibility of a spirit if you create the atmosphere for that spirit to feel at home as though it were in its primary place of habitation are you getting what i'm saying so if the ambassador of u.s comes to the u.s consulate office in abuja it was designed to accommodate him his appetites the colors the architecture are we together there is a pattern based on the ideology of the united states they built the embassy that way so whether he is in nigeria or he's in america it does not make any difference to him because the embassy in nigeria reflects the dexterity and the glory of america are we together now watch this if i want a spirit any spirit please give me this sir. sorry no if i want a spirit assuming i'm a herbalist i am not a herbalist assuming i'm a herbalist are we together and i want a spirit to come upon this i'm not just going to say spirit come spirit break out and then you think it will come no there is i must find out what that spirit is and the nature of its operation and the kind of atmosphere that makes it come and i will make this water become like the atmosphere the spirit must come atmospheres are magnets they draw spirits and they draw possibilities to the earth and to territories please listen to this this is very important so this is what the psalmist said 
the Holy Ghost wanting to come into the new creation he said a body has thou prepared you prepared it in such a way that when I come into that body it will be as though I am in heaven when the body was prepared the spirit could come and that body today is called the ecclesia the body of Christ it was built in a particular way Christ the foundation the apostolic and the prophetic and then the, it rises and he said that body you have prepared for me so God is able to function on earth because of the body that has been prepared for him are we together now when during our traditional festivals when they want to see certain spirits what do the masquerades do or the priests they wear a particular attire having a particular kind of animal skin alligator skin then some use snakes some use hyenas come on talk to me africa are we together so we have don't don't act as if you came from 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 the middle east we're here we're home amen they use fire they provoke these spirits they start chanting tongues and start moving in a particular direction they can move here small and come back again they can run and come back while they are doing that someone can be playing drums are we together and then at a particular point the snake will start coming out when the snake starts coming out they start dancing and putting fire because the snake is reflecting what is happening in the realm of the spirit so the gods are now coming the moment that happens what happens it's like people are under the anointing even the priests they are under their anointing they start doing crazy things they took fire in their mouth and nothing happens because a spirit landed let me tell you why it landed there was a pattern i counseled one man um on on tuesday on wednesday in abuja before i came He's one of the popular Nigerian directors, directors of Nigerian film, you know, and all of that. And he told me something. He said, man of God, most of the Nigerian films you see us acting, the snake we use, they are real snakes. But what they do is they go to charmers. You know, these guys are charm snakes. So they give them a particular ring so that they can pick the snake and nothing will happen. The ring has a pattern. It's a language the snake understands. That's why sometimes it backfires. Because those powers expire, they must be renewed. If at the point of expiration, you are the one holding the snake, the snake that you were, you were in nice romance with would turn and enjoy you immediately. Are we together? Patterns. So there are men whose lives are patterns. You curse them, it returns back to you. And you are wondering see it is on this basis that you can say i am uncursable now the problem with the church is we say revelations without we we make statements without the spiritual revelation that activates those possibilities i am uncursable in the name of jesus and you find out there's a cause at work in your life clearly everybody knows you are cursed i am not cursed you are cursed we are seeing it it is on the strength of this there is a pattern don't laugh are we together so someone can vow like they vowed to paul and they said paul we will not eat nor drink until you are until you die and paul lived many years afterwards i'm teaching you something you can do on earth that is is like a spiritual formation that will make the Holy Spirit respond to you in a certain way and you will see doors open and you'll be wondering what happened is a pattern Balaam stood on the mountain and he saw the pattern and he said I can't curse them I'm trying I'm making efforts listen I can't tell you how many times on my way to travel people will call me and say apostle I just had a dream are you about to travel i say yes they say please sir don't travel i love you so much koinonia loves you i just had a dream this morning and in that dream i saw a plot and i saw that you had a ghastly motor accident and you died and then i said okay i appreciate now they are not they are not lying they saw it and what they saw was correct but there is a pattern kabarato satayaba
David, I'm come and sing a song there in my spirit. Your influence is all over me, right? I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your wings. And your influence is all over me. Let's say. Listen now. Listen. Brothers and sisters, when it comes to kingdom advancement, don't just think of your personal spiritual life alone. There are limitations to your personal spiritual life as far as kingdom advance is concerned. There are certain strategies of witchcraft that it takes more than you as a person to conquer. It's not that Christ is not King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Please hear me is a law there are formations there are things that have been engaged that requires the strength of the body not your strength alone if you do not understand this you will have a lot of casualties and you will mock yourself spiritual patterns formations that make men forbidable on earth they wanted to curse you just like somebody from your village now wants to curse you and you have been saying in the name of Jesus I'm uncursable, I agree with you potentially but you have to engage the mystery that makes your word valid otherwise you will be shouting I will not be cursed until they, they, they kill you like a chicken are we together? please listen listen There are three of these spiritual patterns that I want you to learn tonight. I don't know if we can touch all three, but we'll stop somewhere and pray. The first of that pattern listen is the power of altars an altar is a pattern I'm not talking altar like coven no an altar is a token that represents a point where covenants are enacted every time a covenant is enacted an altar is raised on earth as a memorial you see that all through in scripture every time people had covenants with god or with themselves they raised what altars an altar is nothing diabolic at all an altar is just a token it's a representation it doesn't even have to be physical a representation please listen a representation a platform that affords covenant to not only be renewed 
not only be remembered but to be activated three things happen on altars renewal right continuity or servicing if you want to call it and then the third is activation spiritual realities are activated upon altars listen please listen every man of god every true ministry called of god has an altar they may not call it altar they may call it all kinds of things some call it covenant some call it altar i don't care what they call it but this is what it is it is a token that represents a covenant between god and that man and serves as a memorial the altar that was raised in the day of of um noah when he raised that altar there was a sign of a rainbow is that true and god gave this as a token when circumcision itself is a token i hope you know when you circumcise a child it's a revelation that was given to abraham circumcise them joshua circumcise them the power and the revelation of the patterns that altars create are things we should never take for granted especially in such a wicked world koinonia has an altar you hear us sing that song my it's nothing diabolic i don't mean babala or something no, that's not what i'm talking about as a person there are covenants that i've had through my encounters with god that have become the platforms upon which certain possibilities ride the same way i have gleaned upon the covenant of others with god and it has become an advantage it has boosted my personal spiritual life it has boosted the possibilities that i can see in my own life please hear me and i want you to be sensitive we're about to pray be very sensitive right now when abel died when cain killed abel what cried please answer me what cried and he said the blood of abel cries and the blood is speaking abel is dead the blood is saying revenge you have to bring vengeance upon cain and jesus now says that even his blood too speaks the only difference is that his blood speaks better things which were predicated on a better covenant are we together there are altars that speak over the lives and the destinies of men please listen 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 i want to give you spiritual intelligence you don't bind an altar it was enacted by covenant it's called the law of displacement there are two lights they keep shining until a greater light comes then it overshadows them are we together these are spiritual laws so many people do not know the foundation upon which their predicaments are coming they think it's just an issue of personal retreat for three days have you seen people who are praying and fasting on the last day of the fast what they were praying against is what happens maybe somebody sleeps with you in a dream and you charge and get angry and you go and say look three days i'm praying on the third day drive fast you are looking like a skeleton you are about to break you just decided to take a nap for the last 30 minutes and here the person comes i said your prayer made nonsense in the prayer you are shouting, jesus jesus and the person is just looking at you and say keep shouting your jesus there and comes to do exactly what he said to do you know i know this thing so well because it happened in my life have you've heard my story wicked spirits will come and oppress me and come into my room my own was not even an experience I see them they see me but I couldn't do anything about it some of you say I shouted Jesus the pastor said, shouted well you shouted it well nothing happened please don't laugh I'm giving you a mystery because we're about to pray are we together 
we have lost the advantage of the patterns that God gave the body. It's not about an individual's personal success. There are times when the secret to your breakthrough is based on alignment to covenants that God has had. And he will respond to you and have respect for the covenant. Are we together? There are people who have a covenant with God that every time they show up in a city, there must be breakthroughs. So they show up in a city to have a crusade. And when they show up to have a crusade, people who have no business with that crusade receive breakthroughs that have nothing to do with that ministry. Because for as long as that individual is there, that territory has an advantage of tapping into the covenant that he has. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are people who personally their prayer life is dead. But when they get to the prayer department on Tuesday to pray, you find out that you who was struggling to pray for five minutes, you now stretch for two hours. It's because something picked you. That's why you can go back home and say, ah. So it is God's system to help you. So that even when your spiritual life is down, Satan will still not be able to reach you. Before you come back to life, there is a system that covers you altars that we can take advantage of there are men who when they come into a city you know everything shakes it's not by the loudness of the publicity but they come in with the presence they carry they come in with the covenants that they carry and you find out that there are strange results strange testimonies that happen to people and then they leave we'll find somewhere and stop I want to pray my life has changed like day and night because of this truth that I have discovered. I found it as a key because there were certain limitations in my life. Though anointed, though a great man of God, though having encounters with Jesus. At a point in my life, there were certain mountains that would not move. There were certain doors that would not open regardless of what I did. And I said, Lord, but your word says, if I have faith like a monster seed, I know that I have faith. And then God began to teach me. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep because they cannot discern the body. Their inability to discern the body that has been prepared to host the spirit. Everything is possible. But you need to know how to make it possible. You need to know how to make it possible. This night, looking at me and hearing me by the thousands, are men and women who have done certain things alone. You have struggled spiritually you love God you have held on to some of these principles but the truth is that door has refused to open you have done what you know to do I show you the third key you must engage it's called the power of alignment to covenants the power of alignment to covenants the power of alignment to covenants God has entered covenants with individuals he has entered covenants with systems. Please, I can beg you. Some of you are looking for admission. Listen to what I'm telling you and get into school. Otherwise, sit down there roaming around that you have 230 and repeat the same nonsense that has been going on. Some things in life will not move just by your personal faith. Do you know that when Jesus was on earth, he was not the only miracle worker. Please answer me. Is that true? There was a time his disciples saw other people who were not in Jesus' camp, but they were still performing miracles. Not by Baal. Not Beelzebub. And they said, ah, Jesus, this is, this is strange. Ah, I thought you were the Savior. And he said, I paraphrase him. I came to introduce something new. But until the new comes, the old is still valid. There was a way miracles were done. 
in the old covenant there were people who believed it there was a priesthood that made it possible for instance an angel would come and steer the water was jesus around when it happened no but it happened a particular prophet in the bible when a woman was sick or someone was sick he made herbs leaves and put it on the legs of the person are we together if you understand what i'm teaching you then you will know that when you stand and the mountains look like they are not you have done all you know to do listen stop trying harder the key is not harder the key is step back and look at the body of christ don't look at yourself again look at the body of christ what spiritual tribe is connected to the possibility that will open the door i'm looking for you can be a man of god full of grace and prayer but you know that there is no prosperity in your ministry and you are saying lord we have prayed we have fasted this prosperity thing is not working step back and look at the body of christ a body has thou prepared for me sometimes god can give you just one instruction go to any living faith branch hold what you have as a seed and go and sow it in that you don't even have to be prayed for the moment you pray for it you go back and god says fine what you have done is called alignment to a covenant and god begins to relate with you the same way he relates with god's servant bishop david Oedipo. and you will find out mysteriously mysteriously something happened recently somebody called me and they had a court case recently and Jimmy, this court case humanly speaking was already against the person there is no human way on earth he would have won that case and when he called me i said tell me the truth when he told me everything ah, i said you're in trouble you're in trouble because I, I i know a bit about legalities and i know that based on that thing if he's to spend time in the prison it will be nothing less than 10 years away from his wife and his children but i told him i said well i don't know what to tell you but if you can believe what i want to tell you there can be a way out i told him i said i can pray for you god has given me grace for territories and i want to pray for you i prayed for that guy do you know i got to find out he didn't even show up on the day of because of fear he didn't show up in the court he refused to show up and later he would tell me that the judge looked and looked at everything and threw away the case from the court now please brothers and sisters please you went to school you are intelligent in nigeria who does that <sighs> you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on the earth you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty the bible says christ is the head of all principalities he recognizes their existence so he says your only advantage is that i am the head not that you say they are not there no it's your bible i'm teaching you spiritual intelligence but many people say assume they are not there are you kidding when they refuse jesus from entering back they say who is this king of glory he had to explain himself christ is the head of principalities he said he has been made above thrones so he recognizes them above dominions and every name that is named not only in this earth but in the world to come what do you not know that is responsible for the devil sinking through your life and making it look like god is not alive please hear what i'm saying a job will not just come because you think you're a nigerian there are mysteries you have done there are many arrogant pastors in ministry who are suffering this they've done everything to do but the key is an alignment an alignment 
that opens up spiritual possibilities and alignment those who were mina i'm sure maybe my friend pastor Peter rock is listening Pete rock you know i love house on the rock and all of that when we went to mina aaron you were there the same thing you see in koinonia crowds here overflow on top and then outside is alignment brothers and sisters you may be a musician but you can align to a system that will give you more than songs you will find out that things are opening you are a student but you align to somebody who is paying you salary and they say no you must be sleeping with the man you say no i i, I just belong to a tribe that has a covenant with god that is respected even by hell let me tell you brothers and sisters what is not at work in your life is still available it takes humility and alignment many people will insult me for what i'm teaching you now because they will think i'm teaching you human worship god is my witness i i i don't have time for all of those things but you have to be careful who you listen to don't let men do well meaning to deceive you there are systems on earth that represents spiritual possibilities you may argue it and never see certain things happen in your life please hear me look beyond your personal strength and look at the privileges that God has put in the body a body has thou prepared for me a body has thou prepared this koinonia that you look at every time maybe one day I will take out time and share the whole journey so that you will know that this is not just an ambition of a man to have a ministry if I want fame there are easier ways I'm not dull I can write books are we together access to the riches and the blessings of heaven there are covenants you align with that will open you up to possibilities I don't want to begin to give you testimonies upon testimonies hallelujah we're already preparing to buy our land I will not tell you where it is until we buy it some of you will be surprised you will open your mouth and say it's a lie you can't get land like that a property that will swallow CGC how many times in this area because when you catch the keys listen 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 I don't say this to brag I'm challenging you it's, it's not by trying no door opens to shouting it opens to keys God is giving you something now you have been writing jam you are brilliant but it's not working don't stay foolishly and say I, I, I know this time around I, I got 250 no are we together possibilities there are men and women who God has put in the body of Christ in territories that's why Satan creates a lot of controversy around their life to fight them so that what you are supposed to receive will not be given to you but as we pray the devil is a liar somebody's door is about to be opened rise up on your feet everybody and let's pray we are going to pray three prayer points and I want you to pray it with every every ounce of strength no carelessness no looking around you are going to cry to God prayer point number one Lord I acknowledge that I am limited as a person no matter how spiritual I am as a pastor as an apostle as a prophet as a teacher as an individual i am limited and i come before you with every sense of humility acknowledging my limitation lift your voice and pray lord i acknowledge lord i acknowledge i acknowledge that you have built a system you have built a system beyond the personal spiritual progress of a man you have designed this mystery called the body of Christ this strategy called the body of Christ to lift men to bail them out of captivity you have designed this mystery called the body of Christ
Hallelujah. Look up, please. Prayer point number two. I want you to be sincere before God. Mention all the things you know you have tried and done all you know to do but has not changed. Mention it before God because we are about to engage a mystery. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I prayed over this failure in my family. Nothing has seemed to change. Outside, make sure you're praying. Those online, make sure you're praying. for himself so Jesus had to come and man's salvation now is tied to his alignment to the finished work of Christ it's a pattern there are times your victory will be based on the finished work of others not just of Christ but they have cried the cry for you so you don't cry again they have taken the scars for you so you don't take it again but if you do not know Satan will cheat you there are times you will stand before that Red Sea please hear me just the symbol please you stand before the Red Sea and the Red Sea will refuse to part you will you will invoke your personal altar it will not open let me tell you 
there are stubborn challenges like that in the life of a man you will agree with your wife your husband it will not move when all else fail switch switch remember what tribe you belong to remember the spiritual possibilities that come and say oh god of salvation remember 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 and all of a sudden your god will arise not for your sake listen hear me i don't know if it's a tight booklet of redeemed or living faith i can't remember which of them but there was a woman who had been a faithful titan i don't know if it's redeemed or living faith one of the ministries she testified and robbers came to her house and assassins to kill her and kill her husband they stepped into the house they were with guns the man was there his wife was there all that there was was to shoot and there was nothing to do the man just, he knew he was gone all else failed and all the woman did was to bring out her tight booklet and dropped it on the ground remember the covenant is it not your house that was built with my money is it not souls that are saved with my money don't waste your time trying to say one day god will come no that one day you can create it the day the pattern is there as powerful as jesus was his heavens were closed until he had to encounter a man the heavens of jesus did not open because he was called jesus it was open based on the covenant that came down to john the baptist and so when john the baptist saw jesus he said behold the lamb and he said that's not the issue my heavens are closed and he said suffer it to be so i can't neglect the pattern and when john dipped jesus and brought him out there was a transference and god responded the heavens opened and he said this is my beloved son please hear me it's not as hard as your life makes it look you just don't know what to do we are going to cry and say lord show me what i must do to come out of this challenge in my presence lift your voice and pray there is always something to do. Koinonia cry. Show me, oh God, what is the secret, the missing link to my healing ministry, the missing link to bring prosperity to my life. Who are thou mounting before Zerubbabel? There is a mystery, there is a pattern, there is a mystery, there is a pattern. Let hope Darkness when losing your own light. Let hope, let it rise, let it rise, let it rise. Darkness when losing your own light. Hallelujah. Listen, we are going to pray. Please look up, everybody. We are going to pray. Just one more prayer and I will pray for us. I'd like you to pray. This ground, not, I don't mean physical ground, but this mystery called koinonia is, is enshrined in strange covenants that are responsible for possibilities. Now please pay attention. We're about to pray strategic prayer. Are we together? I'd like you to pray in one minute and say, Lord, I invoke the covenant that is upon this ministry the possibilities that your appearance the sacrifices are brought 
I invoke it upon my life. Pray. The covenant of open doors. The covenant of his Shekinah glory. Access to kings. Access to strange favor. Pastors pray Let it come upon my ministry Oh God Pray Let it come upon my life Say Kavariya Namalana Namasele Lord, I've written this jam by my strength. I've tried and tried, but I invoke the covenant. Lord, I've tried to make money by my strength. I've fasted, I've sown seed. I invoke the covenant. Lord, I've tried to get a job. I've tried to get a job. It's not working. I cry to the God of heaven. Let hope. Let hope. Let it rise tonight. The covenant of long life. The covenant of honor, strange honor, access to king. Access to nobles, access to royalties, access to power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you pray this next prayer, listen, there will be strange impartations and strange testimonies on people. This, these are testimonies coming from heaven. Are we together? I want you to pray it with all your heart. All your heart. All your heart. Listen. Listen. See, that you are part of this great house is no guarantee that you will enjoy the blessings that come. It must be intentional. Proximity is not connection. Are we together? Proximity is not connection. I have tapped into the covenant that God has had with people who have gone higher than me and they have opened me to strange doors. Realms that I know are not realms that are as a result of my personal prayer life. I'm a product of many anointings, many graces, many spiritual possibilities. Please hear what I'm telling you. I'm stepping into a strange, I show you a deep mystery. Many of you will not appreciate it until you struggle and life whips nonsense out of you. You will come back to this message and it will make sense to you. There are many ministries that are anointed but they may never grow. They have done all they need to do. They have prayed. There are groups. There are all kinds of sincere people around. You've done all you know to do. Listen, you were not designed to do everything as regards your growth by yourself. That's why God put the body. Did a body has thou prepared. A body has thou prepared. Are we together? There are mysteries. When a Jimmy shared with me the supernatural birth of his wife, I couldn't believe it. In minutes, she had given birth. Case closed. Because there are mysteries you engage. Are we together? 
Please hear what I'm saying. You see Hope standing. You see Aaron's wife standing. Almost as if they didn't give birth. Right? There is a mystery. What you don't know does not mean it cannot work. You just don't know how to make it work. Are we together? We are going to pray. One last prayer with all your heart. Every area you know must work in your life. Listen, listen, listen. It pleases the Lord when you have testimonies. It pleases the Lord. There are some of us, certain sicknesses are killing us. No you've taken drugs, you've done everything without your imagination. There are, there are, there are graces that we have seen. Sometimes, all it takes is recognition to say, Lord, I tap into this grace. I shared with you my story when I went to sow a seed to God's servant, Bishop David Oedeko. And when I came out, the Lord asked me, kneel down on the ground, bare ground, that ground. I laid my hands upon it. It's not about idolizing altars and all of that, no. And he said, lay your hands on the ground. I laid my hands on the bare ground. And the Lord said, from this day, you have entered the overflow anointing. Are we together? It was an old woman who prophesied upon my life and said, my son, forever you will walk upon gold. That's what that mama told me. Till tomorrow, to, uh, whether she's a human being or an angel, I don't know. I bought sugarcane of 50 naira. Sugarcane of 50 naira changed my destiny forever. Are we together? You join them, you will die like them. Listen to what I'm telling you. There are many arrogant people in our society who believe they know what they are doing. Even when they are quarter to destruction, they will still be bragging. If you are not seeing results for a long time in your life, please calm down and find out what is it. Thank God for the area you are seeing results. But what of the areas where there are no results? We are going to pray. And you are going to cry to the God of your salvation in one minute. And say, Lord, the unction, the grace, the unction that must land upon my life now for those doors to open if it did not come through my personal prayer life then i take advantage of this spiritual formation that is in this house i take advantage of this spiritual formation are we praying go ahead and pray i'm about to pray for you but pray The anointing that must come upon my life, must come upon my ministry, must come upon my prayer group. The grace. Let it come, oh God, let it come. Let it come, oh God, let it come. Let it come, oh God, let it come. Shakata brakata bara da bala kosoto praskate. Em brakata kata tata po kosoto prakata bara da bosh. Makata pa karata kasekete. Em praktas kata baska bosoto bali kata. Pareke teke teke tepe kete kotos. Meka praskata bara tatiya. hallelujah please lift your hands everyone i want to pray for you let the power of the holy ghost fall on me let the power of the Holy Ghost falls on me, anointing Listen, listen. Let me teach you something about the anointing. The anointing introduces possibilities in your life. These are things that were not there. If it's not there, you can't say it's there. It's a lie. Tonight, don't tell lies. There are things that are not in your life but should be there. The agency that will bring it is the anointing. There is favor that should be in your life 
but it's not in your life if it's not there everybody will know when it comes we will also know there were things that were not in my life years ago when it came i knew to the degree that brought it listen tonight is the ministry of the spirit i told you it's the anointing that is responsible for the result it is the the it is a how shall these things be what is the dynamics he said the power of the highest that's how it happens it has never changed it is always an encounter with the anointing your the job of your faith is to connect you to the anointing it is never faith that moves god no your faith connects you to the power of god tonight i came with an anointing there is enough grace there is enough anointing i tell you this there is enough anointing if you will believe there is enough anointing your situation is not the first your situation is the is not the first your family situation is not the greatest there is nothing new under the sun god's ability is god's ability is working in me it's working in me it's god's ability god's ability is working in me It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. solution to your problem is in the anointing seek an encounter with it when the anointing comes to you that's the answer that's the answer listen listen when the anointing comes your direction that's your answer that's God answering your prayer I'm not talking about falling down I'm talking about an encounter the answer is in the anointing your faith only connects you to the anointing Your life can change in a moment your life can change in a moment God is a prayer answering God he answers prayers by releasing his power he sends his power through his word in the direction where it is needed and received needed and received
Mekimba, 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 Papu, Papu, Wani Kama Dakai, Papu, Wani Kama Dakai, Papu, Wani Kama Dakai. Please lift your hands. The prayer answering God. Shabbat. The prayer answering God. There is a God that answers prayers. Koinonia, he answers prayers with his power. He answers prayers with the anointing. The anointing is answered prayer. The anointing is answered prayer. The anointing, Kato Soto Kata is answered prayers barakoto shoteke telekata the anointing is answered prayer it is by the anointing there is no other way it is by the anointing Please lift your hands. The Lord is going to do a very quick work tonight. I'm hearing people crying in the spirit, and the Holy Ghost is telling me these are those who have been delayed, delayed by the power of darkness. I'm about to release the anointing upon people experiencing delay. Bring them out. I stretch my hands, delay. Come on that judgment. You come on that judgment. Delay, delay. I stretch my hands. All the overflows online. Anyone here, any family under the spirit of delay, bring them out. Sakoto Shabariata. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. The fire of God breaking the chains of delay. 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 Bring them out. Wani Kamar the Kai. Papu. Wani Kamar the Kai. Delay over. Over forever. There is an anointing. I told you the anointing is the answer to the prayers. There is an anointing. I'm seeing in this main bowl 16 people. I'm seeing a number 16. Where are they? I stretch my hands. That sword of the spirit breaking delay. There are families with a covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. Break it now. Break it now. Break it now. The covenant of delay. Shakatatata. Reketo Kosotoba. The covenant of delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Overflow three, please look at me on the screen. You don't need to bring them here. It's too long a distance. Those inside that building, just look at me on the screen. Because I'm seeing angels moving at overflow three. And I want to pray for you. Overflow three, right now in the name of Jesus. Right where you are. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing the number 24 24 people right at overflow 3 the Lord is breaking delay breaking delay from them breaking delay right now breaking delay hallelujah there are still people listen I want you to believe in what God is doing I want you to have a testimony 
without an encounter with his power it will just be a religious service i promise you and you will go back it is the power of god the power of god is what draws the line hallelujah delay delay god is not yet done where is that family oh lord that nobody has moved forward i'm seeing delay don't worry god is coming in the anointing of the spirit is looking for a family there is a family there is a family there is a family they are here there is a family jesus help this woman there is a family this is not just an individual thing there is a family the power of god is searching for a family that the devil has kept 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 so that they will not rise hallelujah we are going to be fast tonight there are many things to do i want you to be sensitive the lord is showing me a vision now and i'm seeing a grave i'm seeing something that looks like a black leather inside that grave and i'm seeing an angel of the lord pull it out and the lord is saying this was done against a family lord where is that family right now i stretch my hands whoever programmed the earth to fight any family tonight is a night of resurrection I decree and declare let it come out now let it come out the breakthrough of that family the healing of that family the miracle of that family I release it now hallelujah hallelujah I'm standing here and I'm looking at this stage one two three four five six seven i'm counting seven stones and the lord is saying these are tight destinies this is the whole destiny of a family seven of them but may the sword of the god i serve in the name of jesus any family tied down by witchcraft any family tied down by ordinances i decree and declare by the blood of jesus liberty tonight liberty tonight hallelujah I'm seeing a family and there are four ladies and all the four ladies have a growth either a breast lump or something in their body four ladies all of them have it in the name of Jesus Christ wherever this family is regardless of what what overflow I stretch my hands now in the name of Jesus Christ that family does not need healing that family needs deliverance. I command deliverance right now. Shakato skata, lekata koto soto preyata. I command deliverance for that family now. I command deliverance now. When I was praying, I saw at least eight women that were barren no child doesn't matter what years some of them connected to families 
and the Lord told me he was going to open the wombs of every single one of them every single one of them every single one of them please lift your hands I want to pray now I believe in deliverance I really do this mama there's serious witchcraft in your family as I'm praying for you now I'm seeing a rope a rope I'm seeing a rope and the Lord is saying that I should set this mama free I'm just being fast because I want us to conserve time hallelujah listen do you know why we do not minister deliverance just as a religious thing no it is a way of separating people and the influences that tie them down that's what I want to do now I want to pray listen many of you inside many of you outside are here now because of spirits you may not believe it you may not agree but it's true they are the forces responsible for the pain and the tragedies that we are going through but I want to pray for you now your own is to believe just do what I'm asking you to do we have already prayed if those spirits do not clear out of your life there is no breakthrough you, you would have come to waste your time let me tell you the truth it is when those forces leave your life families here spirits have sat on the destinies of families do your worst go to school and come back and meet us get a job and see come back and meet us marry and come back and meet us are we together it's time for them to go lift your hands everyone I want to pray for you now I'm going to command those devils to leave you listen it's not a suggestion they must go they must leave you are we together now I'm praying for you please now because the ushers are doing their best the protocol is doing their best but there is only so much they may not be able to help people there are people outside please be your brother's neighbor if someone is under the anointing and is capsizing to enjoy himself you can do well to help please you can help at least manage the ushers will come for it because this prayer i'm about to pray now is going to bring strange manifestations in people i see a lot of wild spirits wicked ancient spirits all shapes and all sizes they must go now just one instruction I just want you to shout when I ask you the name of Jesus once and at the top of your voice now listen don't be surprised when you find out that demons are manifesting through you it doesn't mean you are possessed no that's a different thing altogether some of you as you are here you are representing your family nothing may be wrong with you as a person but because of your family are you ready now lift your hands father in the name of Jesus you have anointed this place as a place of fire a place of grace and deliverance there are lives and destinies that have been tied down for ages and in the name of Jesus at the sound of my voice may your voice be in my voice may your grace be in my voice I send an alarm to the length and breadth of this place that at the count of three anyone that shouts that name let there be deliverance right now are you ready one two three i command those devils go now go now ancestral spirits spirit husbands spirit wives yokes of darkness i command you by the power of the Holy Ghost ancient spirits spirits that have been generational familiar spirits 
I command you now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost overflow one overflow two overflow three let them go now let them go now lift your hands lift your hands i'm seeing a number of ladies there are all kinds of spirits manifesting in the night as a man and a woman manifesting as animals in your sleeps and dreams in the name of jesus where are those ladies fire is looking for them now shakoto soto tetiata ekelatos kopriata i separate you from those spirits i separate you from those covenants i separate you from those ordinances any man any woman any entity appearing to you in the night using the faces of men and animals in the name of jesus i command by the spirit a severance between you and them hallelujah sir this baba can i talk to you sir please come god is about to change your story forever i don't know you sir but i want to pray for you stand up please stand up sir i'm looking at you in a vision and i'm seeing you are not alone you came with some people the, your children one one child your son eh? only you no there's a son he's here where is he come come and stand daddy i want to pray for you that this life of hardship god one please stand up please stand up you don't have to kneel down sir this is your dad I want to pray for you you came believing eh august is it augustus i'm hearing the name augustus augustus is it augustus is it augustus augustine or something augustus please if that's your name let me just talk to you quickly i want to minimize personal prophecy so that we can do much we want to pray for the sick i want to take out time and do an extensive deliverance tonight because there are people that my sister come this lady this one not you you are not a woman my brother this come lift your hands shout over forever in the name of jesus christ for you and your family it's over in the name of jesus christ sir if you have never believed a man of god in your life what is about to happen to you there is a reason why i asked you to come because the lord showed me that there was a son and i want to prophesy to you that this life of hardship will end like smoke before the wind you believe it sir receive it right now in the name of jesus it's over right now i stretch my hands and i decree and declare that it's over in the name of jesus over forever sir hold my hands go and prosper in the name of jesus christ go and prosper by the anointing of the spirit of god go and prosper gabriel who is gabriel gabriel i'm hearing a name gabriel please let's hurry up so that we don't waste time gabriel gabriel is he gabriel what's your name huh augustine come you are gabriel why is he here augustine I want to pray for you. Where's your family? My dad is around. My sister. Hold on. There's a man wearing white. Is he your father? White shirt. Yes, Call him. Let him come. Who is that? Who is that? There's somebody. I'm seeing somebody wearing white. What's, please coordinate them. What? You're welcome, sir. Your name is Gabriel, sir. I'm going to pray for you. Please stand here. I want to pray for you. This is the guy wearing white. Come. What is he? My brother. Your brother. Come and stand. God wants to change your life. I don't know you, but I saw someone standing close to you wearing white. That's why I said there's somebody wearing white. 
two of you, I want to pray for you. You love Jesus. God is going to change your life. Why is he here? Your name is Gabriel. Too. You too. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Honestly, I tell you, God is visiting families. I don't know if it's because it's first October, but I see strange miracles. You, this one, put your hand on your stomach there, right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing fire coming on you. And the Lord is, I should tell you, he's taking something away from your stomach. That's what is happening right now. In the name of Jesus, I command that thing to go now. My brother, there is oppression. There's a spirit that you need to be delivered from. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Out now of his life and his family. Help two of them. God is delivering them. This is the spirit that is destroying their family. What's your name, sir? Augustine. Augustine. Where's the other Augustine? Okay, you are the one. You are the Augustine. Where are you from? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. God wants to give your family a miracle. Do you believe that? Lift your hands. There's bad luck in your life. The Lord is asking me to end it now. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands. I end bad luck. Over. The boy doesn't even believe. As you are standing, the anointing still touch you, but it doesn't have faith. Don't come and stand here and you are wondering. I'm not a herbalist. Have I prayed for you? What's your name? Ye two. Ye two. What is year two? I'm seeing Y E. Is it Y E T U or year two or year two? Something like that. Year two. Something that has to do with year two. Y E T U. I don't know if it's part of someone's name or something. Year two. Who is that? That's her name. What's her name? Year two. Can you imagine? How can you call somebody's name year two? You can guess Gabriel, you can guess Mary. But yet I want to pray. There's something being taken from her life. Hold my hands. And the Lord is saying I should take it away. In the name of Jesus, let it roll like a curtain. And leave her life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is of the devil. And I release your wife right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Your miracle has come. Your miracle has come. You love Jesus, my friend. Look at me. You love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Ah. In the name of Jesus. Why is she here? Your dad. There is a copper that I want to pray for. There is a copper. Something is coming on you, my dear. Let me pray for you. Don't worry, if, if, I, if all I do, I, I just lay my hands on you. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Please, why are you here? You are Gabriel? Gabriel, in the name of Jesus Christ, let me pray for this guy. God is giving you favor. Great favor. Great favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's, there's bad luck in your life and your family, but it's going now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's going. That's why you're here. Gabriel. Aleku is there. This is like an idol. Oleku or Aleku. Eh? Aleku. Aleku. Who is that? Eh? Hold on. Where are you from? Aleku. This is something that has to do with a tree. Is there something like that? He said, What? Why are they coming out? What is why are you? They named somebody after the idol, and the Lord is saying, who, who is the person? Whose name? This is it's not just an idol. We are going to pray for Benway State. But the, every state has a devil somewhere. I'm saying this is like somebody's name. Ale, Ale Ku was Ale something like that. Ale Ku also. Who is this? Huh? What's that?
Alleluia. Praise God. Alleluia. What's your name? Eh? Grace. Please, can you help us with this mic? The mic, please. Where are you from? Benway. You are from Benway. The Lord is showing me something. Look at me. If I'm right, say I'm right. If, if it's no, say no. I'm seeing you lying down and you are having a dream. Yes. And in the dream, they are calling this name I've been calling. Yes. Is that true? They called that name three times. One, two, three. That idol. Is that true? Yes. Sir. From that day when you woke up, your life was never the same again. Is that true? Give her the mic now. Let her talk. Yes. Sir. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Hold my hands. If you are from Benway here, hold my hands. Anything, any programming that has been done with any God, you will be surprised what will happen now. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone here from Benway whose destiny has been tied to any tree or any devil, right now, I use this lady as a point of contact. As God is touching her, shakato toto kata. Out of their lives now. Out of their destinies now. Daddy, let me pray for you, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. I've been coming, sir. You've been coming, sir? Yes. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? Sir? What do you do? I'm a staff of a medical university. I have to pray for you, sir. Because I look at you, and not, not only because I'm looking at you, nobody will look at you and know, but there's serious depression, and I have to pray for you. That's number one. Number two, you have, do you know what they call the cause of hardship? You are not a lazy man, but there is hardship in your life. And the Lord is asking me to help you. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray for this, our daddy. Let there be a miracle right now in his life. I command this yoke of hardship to go. Let it go forever. In the name of Jesus. Let it go forever. Jumai. 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 Is that your name? Uh, well, I'll pray for you, but this is not the person I'm seeing. Jumai. I'll pray for you. Your family is oppressed. There is a spirit that must go now. Bring her. I've not even started praying. Bring her. There is a, a, a wicked spirit that I see in this family. A very wicked spirit that I see in this family. This is something that is older than, older than old. This is hundreds of years old. But in the name of Jesus, I'm praying now. I use you as a point of contact. I command that spirit, you must go now. Hallelujah. Please, just allow me. This is, Juma, I'll pray for you. But I'm seeing a family. This is like a curse. No matter what the men do, they never rise. The Lord is saying I should break it. Something is happening to a family right now. Let me pray. My sister, this is your first time here. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Don't be afraid. As I pray for you, the Lord is going to open a door in your destiny that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus, I hold your hands now and decree and declare that everything that has tied you down, everything that has tied you down, Right now, in the name of Jesus, there is disfavor in your life. Anybody who plans to bless you, something turns them away from you. Anybody who plans to bless you, something turns them away from you. I hold your hands and I release you right now. In Jesus' name. I want to pray in a hurry. There is a family. All the men, it doesn't matter whether you are hardworking, whether you go to school or not. But the Lord is asking me to pray for that family right now. Lord, where are they? I'm stretching my hands now and I'm declaring anyone here inside, outside, under the sound of my voice that belongs to this category as I stretch my hands right now I release the power of God to that family right now 
I speak to the men in that family arise now arise now arise now arise now arise now help that woman arise now arise now the men in that family arise now arise now in the name of Jesus there's somebody here you lost your job in the month of March March you lost your job please where is that person you were working but in the month of March I want us to hurry up I, I'm, I'm trying to see that we conserve time the month of March I don't know if you are except if he's a person his family maybe overflow tree then they can just locate him you lost your job there's something you lost your job in the month of March where is that person Please quickly, if there's someone like that. What were you doing? I was a banker. I was a banker. You were a banker? Yes, sir. Something happened? Yes, sir. And they dismissed you? Yes, sir. What are you doing now? I'm doing my PG program for now. Do you believe if I pray for you, you'll get a job? Yes, sir. Will you come and testify? Yes, sir. <laughs> Where? Where have you been praying for? Sir, sorry. Where have you been praying for for a job? Uh, same bank. Bank same, bank. same bank. You want them to call you back? Yes, sir. Do you believe they can call you back? Sure. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Because you see, I'm looking at something that had to do with money, and truly the guy was innocent. But they just joined people and since there was nobody to stand for him they joined everybody and threw them out but in the name of jesus whatever should not leave you and left you i call it back to your life now i call it back to your life now i call it back to your life now hear me I know many of you may not why is he here sir come well stand up sir you were outside yes, overflow three overflow three yes you sir. lost your job where were you working i'm working in hospital which as hospital? an accountant which hospital Tukutuku medical centers so that you see we don't ask this question because we are prying into your privacy. I hope you are not embarrassed. Sometimes we ask it so that people don't think that this thing, because there are still people with all these things they see, they still believe that maybe someone is playing games. At least this one is not, you are watching it now. Which hospital, sir? Tukutuku Medical Center, Zaria. At uh, Tukutuku. Okay, where are you working now? I'm just, I'm managing with one private school. What do you want God to do for you? Just to get back the job. Back to that place? No, 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 no. Another job, sir. Another job? Yes. Do you believe if I pray for you, God will give you a job? I believe that. Do you know why I'm prophesying to you in the open? So that you will testify in the open too. What's your name, sir? I'm Paul. Paul? Yes, sir. God will give you a job, eh? Amen. The heaven of heavens belongs to the Lord. Listen. So when it has to do things there, we don't legislate. We make petitions. But the earth has he given to the sons of men. I give you a job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. He will go and return with him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, how many of us are trusting God for healing miracles? Or came with loved ones that are really sick? Okay, we have a lot to do. So what will happen is, we'll take a break now to minister very quickly to the sick. And then after that, I'm still going to minister to people shortly before we do the final prayer. Will that be okay? Now, but while we're doing that, please, no laziness. There will be prayer points. Are we together? There will be prayer points. Once the prayer point comes, pray. Because in that prayer point, you will receive your miracle. Praise the Lord. But don't sit down yet. I'm, I'm not walking around, but I just want to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord directing me to someone. There is, there is something that we must settle here. 
I'm seeing an anointing going around this place. I'm seeing an anointing going around this area. There is oppression over someone's destiny. That's the lady in the name of Jesus. I command that devil to go now. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring her out. There's no space here, right? Please, don't push them. Don't push them. We are coming back. Just take her out to wait for me. Mama, what do you want God to do for you? I want to get you on her. Can I get you on her? I want to get you on her. I want to pray for you. I will pray for you. Let it be over now. That oppression. Let it be over by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is where I'm coming to. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. In the name of Jesus. I saw light moving across here. And God wants to visit a family right now. Three of them. One, two, three. Where are they? Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the visitation come now. No hiding. The Lord must touch them. That's why you came. The Lord must touch you. Casting crowds, lifting hands, bowing hearts, that's all we come to do. Let her go now. Casting crowds, out, lifting hands, bowing hearts, that's all we come to do. In your name. That girl, look at me. Shout Jesus. Something is tying you. Let it lose you now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it be over now. Hallelujah. Now please, for those of you coming here for the first time, we take our time. We, you see that we don't announce instant miracles except because we don't have the time our time is very limited praise the Lord now this is what we are going to do um, while I give you the prayer request please listen carefully those please listen carefully I want to pray particularly particularly no matter what overflow you are in if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb don't come now but when it's time to come I want you to come I want to pray for you by myself but any other issue those inside i want you to come stand here and then parts of overflow two maybe half of overflow two can join them now overflow one please you go to your projector stand overflow two and those spilling over at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three if god grants grace and there's time i'll just run and come and visit you briefly just to let you know we're together overflow three move to your projector stand hallelujah and we're going to pray very quickly please if they don't prophesy to you or they don't minister to you don't worry we have to pray quickly so that i'll focus and do other things i want everybody to receive will that be fine but those who are trusting god for fruit of the womb whether you're in overflow one two three wherever i like you to please come those online doesn't matter any nation those following us online doesn't matter your nation you're trusting God for a miracle I want you to connect right now by faith hallelujah so we're going to do three things at the same time number one you're going to be submitting your prayer request to the ushers number two you're going to be praying the prayers that I'll give you while preparing our faith and then number three will come out is that all right praise the Lord so let's do that very quickly very quickly please you're trusting God or you came with a sick person now is your time to come out please Quickly, quickly, quickly. Jesus, we bless you. I don't know. You reign on earth. Casting crowds. Lifting hands. Bowing hearts. What 
we've come to do Casting rods We are lifting hands Bowing hearts It's all we've come to do It's in your name We will rise I don't In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave her now. Leave her now. In the name of Jesus. Can you lay your hands on her, Jimmy? Just on her chest or anywhere. Just touch her there. In the name of Jesus, I decree. I curse that spirit. You go and you go forever. In the name of Jesus. Now this is what will happen. Please, we are going to be very fast. We have to be fast. You see that there are lots of people. Uh, our miracle services. If you came with someone, uh, just be patient. We are going to attend to them. Praise the Lord. Thank God we have, uh, we have many hands. And by the grace of God, we will coordinate. We will make it very fast. Ushers, please be collecting the prayer requests. If your loved ones are yet to send their own, send them a text quickly. And she can join the queue. Just keep them somewhere. I'm going to lay my hands on them. Praise the Lord. How many overflows do we have? There's an extra overflow I see by the road. It has spilled over. Maybe overflow four. You can, uh, let's see. We have to be fast. Praise the Lord. Okay, this is what will happen. Um, Pastor Jimmy will be at the overflow outside here. Pastor Alpha, you'll be at the overflow here. Benga, you would go to overflow three. Um, is there someone outside here? Who is outside here? Pastor Alpha is outside. Um, promise. Promise you will be here with Pastor Alpha. And then um, Pastor Femi, you'll be with um, you'll be with Benga right there at the overflow inside here i don't know how many people are left and by god's grace god will grant us grace and we'll have a lot more people to be able to minister okay kenny kenny join join um a jimmy you join a jimmy there i think that's that's all right so far let's let's just trust god for grace father we agree in the name of jesus christ that for everyone we are praying for, it doesn't matter who lays hands on them, let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be miracles. The devil is a liar. Let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus, put your hand on your stomach, my dear. I want to remove something from your body now. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit, that devilish spirit. Father, let there be miracles in Jesus' name. Please, let's go very quickly. We will need more hands. I don't know. If we still have people, I know they may. Aaron, what if you are not doing anything? Please, if you can help out in Overflow 3 with them so that at least we can help to coordinate things there. Praise the Lord. Father, let there be an avalanche of miracles here right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please worship team. You are going to give us, we are going to pray one prayer first. I'd like you to decree and declare and say, Father, I prophesy over myself that my miracle locates me now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Father, we give you all the praise. Do what only you know how to do. Come and change my story. Give me a testimony. Do what only you know how to do. Can I hear you say to God only you? Do what only you know how to do. Can you lift up a voice and say, Do what only you know? Do what only you know how to do. Hey, come and change, come and change my story. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. Do what only you know. Do what only you know how to do. Somebody say, Do what. 
to do. I don't need you now. How to do? I said, do what only you know how to do. I don't need you now. How to do? How to do? God will change my story. God will change my story. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. Do what only you know. Do what only you know. You reign, you reign 
Przędzając kim? Kadosz, Kadosz, You are mighty on your throne. Are we done? Are all the requests here, please? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I bow my knees before the God of my covenant and I decree and declare that every request placed here, I turn it to a testimony now. I turn it to a testimony now. Strange testimonies now. Strange testimonies now. Lord, I cry that you step in and do impossible miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, let me tell you. There are things written here that except the writer, if you read it, you won't even believe that it can happen. But I pray, the God who has the all-seeing eye that can see every request, a representation of every man's pain here, I call on that God, answer by fire. Answer by fire. Father, there are issues here that are impossible with men. Some of them have deadlines that cannot be achieved humanly. But in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I prophesy, let there be strange miracles. Strange miracles now. For all those connecting from whenever nation, in the name of Jesus, we agree with you here. The same fire that is on this altar, through the internet, to your various localities, you receive the same testimony in the name of Jesus. Every human agent that must partner with God for this request to be granted, we force them from their hiding places to appear now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever must die for this request to be answered. In the name of Jesus, the ground opens and swallows them. Whoever must lack sleep for this request to be granted. We seize their peace and their sleep now. Hear me? Any mortal man that says over his dead body for you to testify, may God answer their prayers this night. Lord is opening my eyes I know they are still ministering outside let's be patient the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing trees I'm seeing trees in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing these trees it's like a representation of families hold on please I'm seeing these trees like a representation of families and I'm looking at it I've never seen a tree bringing out blood human blood but in this vision I'm seeing a tree, but I'm seeing human blood. This is like a representation of families. I decree and declare. I don't know what family the devil is taking advantage of, but I want to pray now. I'm not prophesying. I'm speaking for, for God to locate a family that must not go back this night in this situation. 
Lord, I decree and declare wherever that family is, right now in the name of Jesus, may the fire of God locate that family now. May the fire of God locate that family now. The Lord is releasing an anointing, hold on, over people. Is for supernatural clarity and direction. That's what I hear. Receive it now. People are receiving it. People are receiving it. I prophesy. Clarity, clarity. God is answering questions now by the anointing. If that fire comes on you, you are receiving direction right now. Clarity, clarity. All the overflows, clarity. I release that anointing right now. God is giving clarity. Listen, I'm still praying it. I'm seeing anointings that will translate as answers. Should I stay here or should I relocate somewhere else? Should I start the project or should I stop? Every confusion and anointing is answering it now. An anointing is answering it now. An anointing is answering it now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm praying for everybody, but I'm seeing particularly overflow one. An anointing for divine recovery. Divine recovery. Let me tell you something. Whatever leaves you can come back to your life. Are you hearing now? There are people who have lost things. I'm about to call it into your life now. And as that anointing comes on you, just know that it's your time of recovery. Lord, where are they? Where are those who have lost things that need recovery? Shakata kata kata. Shakata kata kata. Proskete kata. Everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere. Inside, outside, outside. The grace for recovery. The grace for recovery. I release that grace now over individuals and over families over individuals and over families individuals who have lost things lost things lost opportunities lost opportunities somebody is recovering an opportunity somebody is recovering something that left you hallelujah the angel of the lord is leading me here there are at least four people this grace for recovery must come upon you i'm seeing at least four people something you have lost is about to look for you something you have lost must look for you i force it to look for you by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah listen let me tell you I told you God answers you by bringing the anointing in your direction. That collision with the anointing is what will program your testimony. And all of a sudden you will see strange testimonies happening to you. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a strong man in four families that God is clearing out of the way. Listen. Listen. I don't say things like this lightly but i'm seeing at least i'm seeing two women and two men who have sat for long on the destinies of people they don't even know they are the ones where are they inside and outside whoever in the name of jesus by the fire of the holy ghost any man sitting on anybody's destiny here you want to rise but they stop you you want to move but they sit on your glory i clear them out of the way now listen you should attend a miracle service like this and know that you attended a miracle service like this mama you see that the devil wants to kill this woman with cancer eat her into pieces with cancer and destroy her your mother you are the ones who brought her hold the mother and two of you come 
you two of you need deliverance first leave mama come come and stand someone should hold or get a seat for mama to sit i've prayed for her but i'm looking i'm this is this your mother two of you i want to pray for you eh what you need i know you brought your mother to be healed of cancer but for you god must heal you first you will need deliverance eh? i'm not saying you are witches but i have to pray for you this is the instruction god is giving me father in the name of jesus you will not allow these ladies to go down the way of trouble and sorrow and pain and discouragement therefore i lay my hands on you in the name of jesus fire over every wicked devil in the name of jesus you came to stand in for your mother but satan has his own plan for you in the name of jesus Hi. wickedness is real i held these ladies and the lord showed me a vision i'm seeing a man a real herbalist sitting down on the ground and i'm seeing something that looks like a pot they are writing names of people with blood blood not chalk they will write it and throw it inside the pot write it and throw it this is an Igbo family write it throw it inside the pot lord i don't know why you showed me this vision but in the name of jesus I don't care where the family is but in the name of first my first prayer point is that that herbalist must die first in the name of Jesus Christ if you don't like the prayer point say amen to the one you believe but my first prayer point is that the wicked herbalist this is someone's destiny these people are here oh I'm praying you may not even know you are the one I say it again whoever is that man on the ground writing whose name whether it's your marital destiny whether it's your breakthrough in the name of Jesus let the earth open and swallow that wicked man who say now who say now? Who say now? Who is that, please? Let her come, please, quickly. You are who say now? What's your name? Huh? Who say now? I want to pray for you. Eh? I'll pray for two of you, but you are the one I want to pray for. What's your name? From where? What state are you from? You are from FCT. Do you believe in favor? Shout it. Favor. No, you are not shouting. You have shout favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a lot of bad luck for you and your family and this is what God is bringing for you. Favor. Who say now I want to pray for you? You are who say now to madam? Please come. You too? Is it mother and daughter or you are coming by yourself? You are, you are who say now to? I'll pray for you. But this is the lady I want to speak to. You love Jesus with all your heart. I want to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough for you and your family. Major breakthrough. I lay my hands right now and I command it. Let it happen right now. In the name of Jesus. Where are you from, my dear? Jalingo. Taraba. In the name of Jesus. The Lord gives you a miracle. Now. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Every bad luck must live your life now. Eh? Every bad luck must live your life. I lay my hands and I command that spirit to go. This lady, only bad things look for her. There are people like that. When good things come, they just turn. There is a spirit that turns it away. Everybody is getting a job. Something that is simple. When is your turn? Let me tell you something. Hardship is not poverty. Hardship is a spirit. You get things, but something you can get for two weeks will take you four years. It's hardship. It's a cost. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You can't go, give God glory under that kind of condition. Simple things. You ask somebody out, I want to marry you. They answer you after four years. It's a cost. Are you, are you a demon? It's a cost. You start a building project, you finish after ten years. It's not a blessing. 
a hard life is worse than poverty this is what the devil has put on the life of this lady I, I take it away now in the name of Jesus and I use as a point of contact if there is anything on anyone's head that is responsible for bad luck happening in the name of Jesus I command whatever it is let the fire of God come upon it now let me pray for you man in the name of Jesus I lay my hands upon you and I release favor in the name of Jesus favor I'm seeing someone you are into printing please let's hurry up we have to stop few minutes now so that you are into printing you print like um, posters whatever it is you design you print banners please who is that person I want to pray for you you are into printing uh, I will pray for you but the person I'm seeing I'm not saying if you want to do it if you are currently doing it you are into it for how long? Since my, my child was up. I was born into print. Your father is a printer? Yes, sir. Where do you do it? Mina. Mina. Yes, sir. From Mina, you came here? I'm serving in Kagzara. In, in because the person I'm seeing is about to lose a lot of money. This is a contract or project that someone will give you. You will suffer and do it and something will happen and destroy that whole job. And the person would say you must pay. And it's going to cost you hundreds. I don't know. Well, may not be so much money to you, but I'm seeing something losses of at least this is a very big project that the person is even angry. I'm seeing something that even has to do with police because the person will say that he went and gave the job. All of you are into printing. What are you printing? I'm into printing. What printing? Books, everything in every press. Books. You yes. too? Your dad. All of you, I'll pray for you. You are standing for somebody. We have to avert this. This time of recession is not the best time to get into trouble with police. Say amen. amen. We want to stop it now. So that whether it's your fault or not, when you are in trouble, you are in trouble. And you see, the way the devourer works is that he will wait just when I'm, I'm soon going to do that prayer. Where things work, just when the miracle is about to happen something happens and destroys your life i have to pray for you where is your dad huh? he, stays in abuja. he stays in abuja that's where you stay too yes what's your name peace peace i want to pray so that we'll stop trouble eh? in the name of jesus daddy we use your daughter as a point of contact to pray every trouble we avert now you too you are into the printing where abu press yes you work with abu press yes you walk there now it's not your own okay but i will still pray for you in the name of jesus christ grace the one for me now i release you eh? can i pray for businesses yes, sir. can i speak over businesses huh you are into printing uh, what's your name hasana hasan you 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 need to um well, I don't mean to embarrass you, but you are very shabby. Huh? You need to organize your life. You're a smart young man, but you see how you are looking like uh, a thief. You'll be smart. When you are coming to the house of God, listen, when you, people are, when you are coming to the house of God, don't embarrass him. This is a family, but you look smart. You don't dress, you see, no shoes, your hair is scattered, not combed. You look smart. Eh? You are my friend. I want you, it will be difficult for you to progress in life like this. Be difficult for you to get a good wife like this. It'll be difficult for you to get many good things. Appearance is the seed for acceptance. Don't say it doesn't matter. Dress well. The house.
God organize his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Organize his destiny. There is a spirit of excellence. Excellence is a spirit. You receive it in Jesus' name. I'll quickly pray for you. Doesn't matter where you're standing. You, you are into printing too. You too. In the name of Jesus, all those into printing, I lay my hands, Pastor Lawrence, grace for you. You will do well. You will get jobs in Jesus' name. There are some of us, what we need now, we are at a point in our lives where humanly speaking, we have paid our price. What you need is favor. And we are going to pray. It. Is that true? Are there people like that here? There are others you have not paid your price. Paying for favor is putting you into trouble. What I need to pray for you for is grace not to be lazy. Laziness is also a spirit. Many of us don't know. It takes a lot of laziness. Um, something is leaving you. That devil must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are into printing too? In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is somebody you sew clothes. You are a serious tailor. But for a long time, this is from April. Everything just went down. I don't mean gradually down like this. It's almost as if, please, who is that person? You are a tailor. You sew clothes. You are a serious tailor, but something just happened. I'm seeing the month of April and everything just went down. You are the one? You sew clothes? Where? Yango. Who knows you? If you are a serious tailor, they should know you here. Who are, who, you've sewn people's clothes here? Okay, Zango. Yes, there's a shop. I'm what? Sorry. Then what happened? There's a shop. I'm working for somebody. So last month he sent me out and closed the shop for no reason. Last month. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll pray for you. If you did something wrong and they pursued you, when you come here you ask for mercy. You don't complain. Even if it's my shop and you don't do well, I will drive you. Everybody wants to succeed. So let's, let's be very honest when we are before God. Praise God. When you are before God, if you tell the truth, that's even what will provoke his mercy. You understand? If, you, if, if I employ you, don't be embarrassed, my dear, but if I employ you and you are not bringing me anything and I'm paying you, why won't I downsize and drive you? So don't make it look as if because this person you are saying drove you. I'm not seeing the person as a wicked person. No. Something happened and it's your fault. Eh? You need the mercy of God. And God will help you. Don't make it. You see that if, if it's not revelation now, you will now blame someone else and say that person is wicked. My prayer for you is that God will bless you too. Huh? But please, don't be angry. I'm not seeing that person. That person did exactly what I would have done. Father, in the name of Jesus, show your daughter mercy. If you need mastery, may God improve your skill. May God improve your value. And I pray for you in Jesus' name. God will not leave you hungry. The God we serve will change your story tonight. In the name of Jesus. You experience his mercy. You experience his grace. Madam, you are a tailor. Where? Samaru Market. Samaru. Market. You have your shop? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. You are a good woman, but you are always entering trouble with those you sold their clothes. You don't used to finish on time. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is showing me. Don't be embarrassed. This is a family. It may just need you are a very good tailor. I'm not I'm not against you. Don't feel bad. I, I'll send some people. That's what I'm saying now. Yes, and there's problem now. They are even angry. Yes, sir. Because they are supposed to sew something for them for an occasion. Uh, and you didn't finish. And now the person is really angry. So these are some of the things we are talking about. As God steps in, let's allow his mercy. Just tell them sorry. Because you I want you would have been far more than you are now. But there is a spirit of delay sitting on your glory. Hold my hands. He must go now. To draw from you again. Again. We've come to draw. 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 Draw from you again. Listen. I want you to mark this woman. The kind of favor this woman will enter into from this night will surprise you. I'm saying it in the open. The Lord will give you favor. 
You are a tailor? Why are you just coming, my brother? We are praying for people here. Hmm? Father, in the name of Jesus, help our brother to succeed. Hmm? It's unbelief. If God is calling a case to help people, huh? you come out proudly. You don't stand there, you are ashamed. You understand? Sana, please. You are a student and you are doing it. You people too, you are tailors. See, the tailors are now coming out. We'll pray for your business. Please, all tailors, do a good job. We believe in excellence. Don't say, I'm praying for you publicly. It's not just endorsing you to destroy people's clothes. Do a good job. Praise the Lord. Do a good job and we'll pray for you. There are too many people here. Too school of ministry wants to do their graduation gown in two weeks we are graduating our students 243 students imagine that you get the contract to do their gown if you do a good work god will honor you if you do a nonsense work people will not endorse you just because it's the house of god praise the lord my brother you want to study where I'm a student. oh you are a student yes be okay okay in the name of jesus christ may the lord grant you grace god will raise help for you in the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are a tailor. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you. You need deliverance. I command the spirit. Hi. This lady has oppression in your dream. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the Living God. You didn't come out for tailor, you came out by the mercies of God. You see what I'm saying? This is the tailor now. You see what let me pray for her please i see a wild animal i'm looking at this lady and i'm seeing Kai. lord jesus mercy i command every legal access satan has over you when this lady gets angry she can swallow you it's not her fault it's a spirit be free now look how many people are holding one lady in the name of jesus i set you free by the power of the holy spirit let me advise you if you want to enter a relationship pray if you want to marry pray you listen to what i'm telling you you see the body of christ we don't listen and we do i'm not saying this lady is a witch please don't get me wrong but i'm saying you should pray now i'm not condemning her but imagine that you are in a relationship with this lady and you married last week you see this if this lady is angry that spirit will manifest no matter how strong you are she will beat the living daylight out of you when that spirit leaves her she will tell you sorry and then it will come back this is what god is helping us to solve are we together now imagine you are a customer and just because you gave her ten thousand you insulted her when that spirit rises she will tear your clothes or beat you lord jesus we invoke your mercy upon her in Jesus name madam you're a tailor too where judge judge I'll pray for you you're a tailor too where you're in natural state in the name of Jesus may God increase you I speak to your business let it increase experience increase delay lives your life in Jesus name I pray amen if you're in business please lift your hands I want to speak over your life please believe the prayer I'm praying for you there is an anointing that makes people prosper why are you here? You are tailors. You are all tailors. What do you mean you are tailors? This gentleman, you are a tailor too? Okay, please come. You would have come out since, so that our time, you know, our time. You are all tailors. You are a tailor too? I hope we all know that this is the house of God. Please, don't, don't tell lies. If you are not a tailor here, I'm, the prayer will reach everybody. If you are not into tailoring, please don't embarrass yourself. If you are into tailoring, leave them, leave them, please. Provided you are, I don't know what is this with God and tailors, but let's pray because God wants to increase you. You look like a tailor. You see, some of you don't look like tailors. You are, you, are not, you are not dressing like tailors. This gentleman is sharp and smart. He looks like a tailor. 
Ejimi teaches that you represent your brand. If you are a man of God, you show it by the anointing. If you are a tailor, if you are a public speaker, you show it by accuracy of communication. If you are a tailor, you are marketing your products at all times. You don't say, come to my shop. No. If I cannot see your tailoring prowess on you, then I shouldn't patronize you. Father, change the lives of these great people of ours. I'm just going to lay my hands and touch your head. And in the name of Jesus, I pray. May your business step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands, please go back to your seat. In Jesus' name. That yoke leaves you now. In the name of Jesus. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Go and increase. Go and multiply, my dear. Go and increase. Go and multiply. Increase, madam. Multiply. Go and increase. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. Go and increase. Go and multiply. Go and increase. Go and multiply. Go and increase. Whether you're a tailor or not, after this people don't come out again. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In the name of Jesus. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In Jesus' name. If you're in business, please. Any kind of good, godly business, lift your hands. If you're in a bad business, repent. And do something honorable. Listen, let me mention an example of bad business. Any business that has to do with smuggling drugs. You are a thief. You are not in business. You stop it. I don't care whether you are helping young guys around Samaru connect with a snuff. That's not a business. Are we together? There are businesses that are demonic. Writing exams for people. Writing jam for people. Writing, I will never pray for you for increase. That's not a godly business. Business that has to do with you having an affair with somebody's husband, somebody's wife. It's not a good business. Prostitution, not a good business. Dirty business that has to do with ungodly things. No, no, sir. Let's be very sincere before God. But I pray sincerely from the depth of my heart. The power to prosper. The grace that can come on a business and turn it around overnight. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Listen, please, I want you to be childlike enough and believe this prayer I'm praying for you. And watch what God does. Some of you, you don't have any clients, you don't have any customers. Some of you overnight, just by this prayer, by miracle service October, it will be like a dream. I prophesy to you. Some of you, you have the ideas, what you need is capital. I declare, let somebody rise up who is willing to help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, what you need is an endorsement of someone credible in your field. So that it will open doors for you. May someone who has gone ahead of you accredit you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you are trying to sell properties. There's nobody to buy. But if someone comes to buy it, God will use it to honor you. I call somebody to buy it now. In the name of Jesus. Now I prophesy favor on everyone. I decree and declare tonight the main auditorium overflow one two three those following online the kind of favor you have never seen in your life may my god make it happen in your life now receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus esther the village girl became esther the queen through favor ruth the hungry woman who was about to die became Ruth the wife of Boaz. I don't know who I'm prophesying to, but the favor that would change your story in one month, I release it to you right now. I release it to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help that woman there, please. 
There are people from January till now, you have never testified. It's not that you don't want to come out, but nothing has happened. I stand before the God of heaven and I decree and declare, may my God do something in your life that will force you to come and testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare I don't know what door has closed between you and your next level you have been knocking for a long time and that door has refused to open I open that door for you right now I open that door for you right now any terminal disease ravaging anyone's body you get healed right now two weeks you are back again you get healed three weeks, you are back again. I set you free right now. Help that. I set you free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The only thing you know that happens in your family is fight and quarrel. No love. No joy. When someone is about to rise, a troublemaker comes. I declare may the prince of peace may the prince of peace step into our homes now step into our families now you are beautiful you love god you are a well-mannered lady no husband I'm led to pray this prayer. You don't hear me pray it all the time, but I decree and declare. Every lady here, ready for a relationship, a godly one, I call your husband to your life now. Every gentleman who wants to marry but no job, no money, the devil is... You. The devil is using lack of finances to rubbish your life in the name of Jesus. The God that can lift a man from a dunghill. May that God lift our brothers here right now. Any project you started this year that you were hoping to have completed by now and as it is you need a miracle. I release the finisher's anointing upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. All those writing exams. Shakatos kata prati alakatos. In the name of Jesus. The grace. To not only write your exams. But to finish well. I release it upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. All our, our brothers and sisters who travel from several places to write post you and me in the name of Jesus we give you admission here I don't care who you know or who you don't know we give you admission here now hallelujah school of ministry students are writing their exams by nine o'clock tomorrow in the name of Jesus grace for retention receive it There are other people writing promotion exams. Others, there are, we have a lot of postgraduate students doing their PhD work, research, you know, their thesis, whatever it is. Anything that has refused to come to completion in your life, I, re I release upon you grace for completion. In the name of Jesus. The last prayer point and we're done. Give me two minutes. I need to pray for our spiritual lives. Some of you started well with God, but right now you need prayers. You need serious prayers. Prayer zero. Fasting zero. Word life zero. Passion for the things of God zero. You are not bad, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. The fire. The Bible says the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. The fire that must come upon the candle of your destiny. Sokoto Pakata. From the main hall here overflow one overflow two overflow three
take a fresh fire for your work with God. Take a fresh fire for your work with God. Hear me? Some of you, the moment you open your Bible, it's as if something happens and you close it back. It's not normal. I decree and declare passion for the word of God. Receive it right now. Some of you used to pray seriously. You even used to attend the, the weekly prayer department meeting. But things happen. You were offended with God and several things happen in your life and you say, I'm, I've been praying but I've not seen results and you stop. I release upon you grace to go back. Grace to go back to the prayer altar. Grace to go back to the prayer altar. Grace to go back to the prayer altar. Hear me? Those of you who, as you are seeking money, you are forgetting God. As you are seeking marriage, you are forgetting God. It's not that you want to do so. Life is pushing you away from God. Whatever is drawing you away from God, I cause that thing now. Listen, we are rounding up. God and prosperity can go hand in hand. God and marriage can go hand in hand. Whatever must make you leave God to get it is of the devil. May it live your life forever. Now keep your hands lifted. The last prayer point. God is looking for men and women of the spirit. Simple one minute prayers that will change your life now. Lift your hands. I want to pray for something to come upon these hands. Listen. Mm. There must be an evidence if you belong to this ministry. This is a supernatural ministry. This is a ministry of signs, wonders, diverse manifestations. I will not end this meeting without this impartation. I'm praying now at the count of three. Let an unction, let an ancient mantle land on someone's hand. One, two, three. Take it now. Healing anointing. Take it now. Prophetic mantle. Take it now. Grace for signs and wonders. Receive it. May your hands become healing hands. May your hands become miracle hands. Deliverance hands. Favor hands. Hear me? The grace to win souls like never before. I know it's old school. I'm both old and new school. Depending on the one that does not work. Soul winning is never old school. The Bible says he that winneth souls is wise. I pray for you. Grace for a dimension. Evangelism through signs and wonders. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. The last prayer for you. The mantle of honor. The grace that distinguishes a man above his contemporaries. I lay my hands on my head and I prophesy to you. Carry that anointing right now. Carry that anointing right now. Experience strange levels of honor. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise. Every expectation you brought here, whether I mentioned it or not, I'm agreeing with you now. Within 24 hours, let your miracle start. Within 24 hours, let your miracle start. Those of you who came from far, before you get to where you came from, you will collide with miracle after miracle. Testimony after testimony. Hallelujah. If there is anyone here in ministry, a man of God, a woman of God, you have a fellowship, you have a church, I pray for you. The fire that is here, 
carry it back to your church carry it back to your fellowship carry it back to your place of ministry in the name of jesus christ hallelujah wave your hands and give jesus praise thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus hallelujah everyone keep standing you are here our time is gone everyone please stand you are here you are worshiping with us for the first time overflow one overflow two and inside this is your first time please make your way here overflow three just make your way to the front of your projector stand and look at me let's honor them koinonia quickly <laughs> hallelujah praise the lord please keep standing two minutes we are done let's honor them they are coming may god bless all of you who continually invite people to come listen let me tell you one truth i am very honored to have the privilege to lead this campaign of bringing the reality of the power and the presence of god to people when you invite people you don't necessarily make a ministry bigger yes you increase them in numerical strength but the truth about it is that you are giving people an opportunity to have encounters hallelujah for all of you who take out time to invite people may the god i serve bless you clear the way for them as they come hallelujah i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you